These are the tales of the Skeleton Crew. One shot, one kill. The burgers on the wall, but it's not a joke. Uh, Blades in the Dark. Hey, um, baby! Blades in the Dark. Uh, Wait, this week on... Sponsored by MeUndies. Sponsored by MeUndies. They hug them. They snug them. Balls are gonna feel good. Blades in the Dark. Brought to you by NordVPN. Raid Shadow Legends. Express VPN. Raid Shadow Legends. If you play Audible. Raid Shadow Legends, you're probably a sex offender. Raid Shadow. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah. I didn't know that Defended was a requirement. <laughs> Apologize. Um, so now that all the viewers have left, uh, let's proceed. We had a viewer? <laughs> Not anymore. No. Um, last time on Blades in the Dark, our uh, mighty skeleton crew... Decided, hey, you know what might be a might be a hoot and a holla? If we do two jabs at once, eh, hey, hey, eh, capiche? Uh, so they did that. Um, also, Bloodbeer got squeezed by the by the bill hooks, but he managed to managed to get them off his ass for a, for the time being. Although they are expecting results. She got squeezed. I'll squeeze their ass. Um, squeezed his bog. In one corner, uh. The team of Mondo, Paparazzi, and Bloodbeard were able to relatively successfully uh, pull off a job for the Lampblacks, wherein they recovered the whiskey and the bomb plans that Bazo Baz was looking for, while also getting a, a copy, uh, or the, the original copy actually, of those plans to an assassin who was very, very close to shooting Bloodbeard in the head. Uh, Bloodbeard also broke the arm. Bloodbeard broke your arm in the process. He but broke your everybody arm. made it. You got paid. Um, so that that went pretty well. A little more fraught with with trouble was the outing uh, of Explosion Doctor Kilowatt and Gorgon, mm -hmm. who went to the Leviathan Hunter ship Erebus, and there encountered what appeared to be a metal demon. Um, which that was, that was pretty metal, all right. Sort of, uh, sort of caused a few complications on board the deck. Luckily, with some quick thinking, uh, they managed to retrieve the envelope they needed by using a ghost to retrieve it and distracting the, uh, demon from the scent of their blood by feeding it a bunch of billhooks, most notably the leader of the billhook son. Oh shit! <laughs> so I'm sure that won't, I'm sure that won't oh, fuck. Co come up again. <laughs> oh god! Oh fuck! Um, but they got the envelope. Metal demon did. Got it back to the grinders. And uh, hey, that's hey. uh, that's a baseball. Yeah, give you a baseball. Though. Uh, they also managed to upgrade their crew to tier one. Ooh. Finally, really making their name. Yeah. And repelled an attack from the red sashes, which cost the life of Giggling Greg. No. <laughs> Poor Greg. I'm old Giggling Greg. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of pretty much everything that happened. So, as we re-enter, the crew is 
presumably back at Yield Rug Tumbler, ready to make their next moves. Final time. Well, here we are, back at the old Rug Tumbler. <laughs> old grind. Right as you are. So, what do we do? We can do so many things. Why don't we go get the, uh, fucking... Uh, why don't we go get the grinders to help us go to war with the Billhawks? We might have some trouble with them later, yeah. Because of that That's, thing. We got, we got a, a couple of people that are upset well, with us. Yeah, but I, mean, I think we should if just... If we tell them, hey guys, we killed the Billhawks, so maybe they'll like us more. Uh, maybe they'll be like, you what?! Let's remember, what are the grinders' relationships? They lie. Uh, they're they're actively warring with the billhooks. Yes, well, well, you know. and uh, no, actually, I don't remember what else because it was the lampblacks are associated with the foghounds, right? Uh, yes, the grinders also used the foghounds tangentially in that first job, and that's when you guys ran across each other. But obviously, oh. you got the job done, and the foghounds did not. Yeah. Uh, cool. The grinders are also tight with Ulf Ironborn, but well, we're cool with him. Um, yeah, so sort of. Yeah, I feel like we could you use somebody with a positive three for when inevitably we get three enemies. Uh, no, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We can't. I don't think we should even spend time going for a positive three because I don't think we can afford to. <laughs> well, that's how we get them to actually help us. Isn't that the point of getting the grinders to? Uh... I guess. Yeah, but. Look, Bloodbeard's looking out for his own neck and lack of he arm. Um, I thought you were going to say life. Lack of what? I, I don't know. Actually, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> like the you arm. got me. Hmm. Should so we, ki should we kiss ahead. ass? I feel like it might be a good idea to kiss the grinder's ass. Yes, go kiss some ass. Kiss ass. But, mm. but here's the thing, if we fuck this up, if we fuck this up really, really badly, they're going to come after me. Well, they're going to come explicitly after me. Uh, you took the deal. You should have done the time for your crime. I should have, and then Nick would have been like, well, motherfucker. No, I would have, I would have been like, good on you for having the balls to refuse Tarval. Let's see how that pans out. Yeah, that... Uh... He gets shivved in prison. Well, that worked out well, didn't it? At least you still have your dignity and your respect, but no, it's leaking Blood out of your body. No, he'll get it back. And Tarvel was no, trying wait. to offer no, you uh, an That's offer blood. you can't refuse. Uh, <sighs> Alright. So let's go do something for the grinders. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Grinder. Hello, I don't like can I this. Get a grinder, please. Hey, Mr. Grinder. Mr. Grinder. Mr. Suck your dig. What the fuck? Suck your dig. No. Whatever you want, man. I've got a degree, man. I went to college. I know how to do this stuff. I do. You got a degree in sucking dick? Hell yeah. Do you not? Yeah. You know how I paid for that degree? How? Sucking dick. Everyone did. That's right. Like, whose dick did you suck? Well. Yeah. Well. 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 Oh, so, speaking of Dobson. Um. Oh, also. <laughs> let's not speak of Dobson. That's a, that's a picture that I was asking if I could post. <laughs> Fucking <Yeah>, Dobson. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I told you, like, I... you you wouldn't know it was the fucking last of us. Oh, I've seen this picture before, yeah, no, I didn't know. I, I don't know it. Yeah, no, the, that series of memes is a last of us thing. I had no idea. I'd seen that picture, fuck, it seems so many goddamn variations of it. I haven't There's seen so it many. at all. I mean, I've seen that original comic around when it first came out. I, I, I think most of us here would know about Dobson have. Mm -hmm. I haven't. Because, like, I haven't seen the original. Oh, well, oh. Nick, you... I, I don't think you were on the internet when he was, like, really infamous. <laughs> Probably. 
This was like a, like a, mm, God, like dumps, eight, dumps and eight years ago. Mean. Jesus, yeah, at no. Vegas. Oh, by the way, probably. While you guys are at your at your hangout, mm -hmm. you do receive word that our blood spilled in glory uh, is ready to move on their job if you're willing to take it as well. Yeah, let's just go do that. What's their job? To spill blood. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Wasn't our next job going to be smuggling the corpses out? There was the that. We just oh, yeah. killed? The ghosts will happen if we don't. Yeah. So we should do that. Well, unless we try to dissolve their bodies. Which Why don't we do two jobs again? Ah. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> We're down one. Yeah, yeah, we are down one. Yeah. Is there a way we get, like, passage light? Wait, how would we even get it out? We just, like, sail it down the fucking seas over to I the... we're just gonna sail to the lightning barrier and just fucking... We can get in contact with Rico and he'd probably help That's us. That's what I mean. Rico. Should we make... Uh, should we make big, cool friends with Rico again, or should we just, like... No, we... I mean, I, I don't know how to fucking open it. Well, we're yeah, not... No sure fucking shit. We're gonna... We're gonna throw the corpses into the lightning to make them burn, and not. Will the ghost come out on this side? Or I feel no, like it'll, it'll like kill them. At, at the very least, yeah, the body will probably <laughs> get through it. it, and so if the ghost still happens, it'll be on the other side of the barrier when it does. Yeah. That is also true, but are they cool with the it? Barrier kills. Yeah, I, I mean, human and ghost. Are the spirit so. wardens cool with it? I don't know. Just, I mean, talk to Rico. the plan is that they don't find out. I mean, the spirit wardens don't really mind too much if they die. It's just if they have if we DDoS them with ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're gonna keep down the. We're gonna not. We're not gonna download these ghosts. What if? Download. What if we ask them a question? I'll just ask him like, Yo, what? Hypothetically, what do we do? We, we, have, like, we, have, we had a body or two. Corpses. If we just sent them to the lightning barrier, um, would it be okay? I mean, we could like, ask Rico. Like the spirit worms aren't in charge of the gate. It's the, it's the spark. Rides, they're in so. charge yeah, of ghosts. No, I know <laughs> more or less. But like spirit worms just know about the ghosts. Yeah, what are, I'm sure. Is he like, going to hurt us if we just go ask the spirit worms what you know hypothetically I we mean, should do? If we, say, I think they'll know that like. Wouldn't it be better if we got the answer and did this properly though? Well, hold on a second. I mean, the entire point or of the barrier is to keep ghosts out. So there's like, God knows how many ghosts out there. As long as the ghosts aren't in the city, I think we're fine. With yes, but they might be upset at the fact that we just made ghosts. But they yeah. won't know. They won't know. The they won't know if we, we do this. Throw right. the bodies into the lightning field, killing the body and the ghosts. No, no evidence. Nobody knows except Rico. Who we what would if probably also, make. that's totally fine? Then we could just do this for cares. Oh, you mean ask them if they're cool with us just leaving, but they didn't seem like if that. We, if we fucking body dump it into the Floss District over there with the uh, blatant barrier. I, I mean, I... You, you want to do the old classic take a vote? I, I don't understand that. Alright, let's do it without the... the that's, that's all I, I don't... My only thought is, is there a proper way to be doing this? Because like I said, they were oh. upset with us because oh. we kept, we proper. did it so much. Would so they be upset they, if we just took out, like, yeah. if we killed one I person see. and it's like, all right, well, what do we do with the body then? Is it cool if we just I see. I see. send it here? What is the proper disposal method if you murder? Yeah. Because I'm sure they've gone, like, ha had to talk to people about this specific thing. I... I I mean, it seemed like they were cool with covering our tracks, but we have to do stuff for them if that was the case. That's what I mean. Like, would we have to do stuff for them every time we fucking killed someone, or would it be only, like... It, it would probably vary on how many dead, because we did, like, what, three jobs? You did, you did like, you did a bunch of jobs back-to-back -back that stacked bodies. You were making, you were, you were giving them a real headache. Yeah. It, well, it may be easier, maybe if we give them the body so they don't have to go, like, take care of them. It, it, that might be right. It's like, if we leave them on your doorstep, is that cool then? Are we cool then? I just, I feel like knowing you know, how to do this properly it, would help both of us. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, yes, of course, the only thing that would suck is, wow, you guys made bodies? But, like, like, 
they only came to us last time. I mean, they're gonna. That's true. They wouldn't know either way. We just say so. When we make new bodies, is it cool if we like bring them here? Is there like a ratio, like I twenty like bodies so. to one score? What's what's the deal here? I just think getting an actual proper method would be nice. Yeah, we could try and house, I guess. So you okay? Why not? Okay, let's go. Let's go oh. ask. Let's have like two people ask them, one people ask them, you know. Yeah. So you're gonna go to Bellwether and okay. Let's talk to Spirit Ward Man. All right. Uh. Okay. Who's going? Uh, I mean, I can go. Who else? Um, oh. I'll go. All right. Um, yeah, you got. I, I got a call. All right, the diplomatic crew of <laughs> what, what explosion time? and Bloodbeard will be heading over to the crematorium. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. so you guys head into Charter Hall, where you guys are almost immediately, like the center of attention on the street. <laughs> looking the way that you do. I don't understand. Is it because How they don't have any arm? You're a you're a one armed giant with a huge red beard and like a pirate's hat. Yeah, you and? look weird. You do look pretty weird. The fuck. <laughs> um <laughs> look at this bee. Um You make your way through the streets to the Bellwether Crematorium, uh, which is the same as it was before, sort of large windowless. Uh, I think I said it was a hexagon, hexagonal building uh, with the huge um, crow roosts built into the top of it. And there's just two wardens standing guard outside the only entrance. Hi, hello. It sort of turns to look at you with that silent bronze mask. I w we were wondering if uh, we could uh, go in and ask a few couple of questions. He just stares at you. I kind of relates to less time and I feel like it's an important question um, you can't even see their face you just see darkness behind those hollow mask eye holes just silently staring at you it's questions that would make your guys' lives easier hmm I see. So, <laughs> how are we gonna get in here then? It seems like they only let people in if they got business now. They didn't even I... let you in before. I <laughs> we had to meet that <laughs> that one guy on the side of the street. This is wild. Why don't you just ask your question? I suppose I will, but the way that they have said nothing. Look, this could either go really, really awfully, or they won't say anything. So it could either be neutral or bad. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's not so bad. All right. All right. Um, well, why don't I uh, ask the question to you then? Uh, hypothetically. Being around the bush. <laughs> I was about to ask them right now. Hypothetically, if we, if we had a body and we wanted to dispose of it, so that's why, uh, you know, we don't create ghosts over here. Is there a proper way to uh, disposing of it? Hypothetically. Yes. Hypothetically, of course. 
slowly turns to look at the the other guy who slowly <laughs> turns to look at him they both look at you hypothetically where what do you mean hypothetically where are these hypothetical bodies that beard scratches his beard I'm not saying that we have bodies I'm saying if in case of future you, no, Bloodbeard never, doesn't think you should word it like that either. You never quite... I mean, we don't want... That's not our objective. But of course, after what happened last time... No, I, look, of, look, we're kind look. Of, we don't have to say anything. The crows will tell us all we need to know. Aye, aye, but look, look, look. So we, we be trying to make your jobs a little easier. Exactly. If Are you? I. Mm -hmm. it, it, well, if, if you give us the information that we need in order to make this an easy thing so you guys don't have to worry worry about us. We promise it's never going to get as crazy as it was last time. I Blood very lost an arm. Yeah, yes. Yes, it did. Not, not related to the hypothetical bodies or anything, but... <laughs> the other guy, uh, the one who hasn't been talking, says, I have a suggestion. And you're like, oh shit, it's a woman. on how to reduce the amount of trouble caused to my organization. I look at Bloodbeard. I already know what's going to be said. Oh, can't do it. Yes, please uh, do tell. Stop doing it. I, all right, thank you for your time. Let's get out of here. <laughs> The crows oh. will find out soon enough. All right, goodbye. I, we walk away really, really oh, fast. Was very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> as as after we turn the corner, I turn to explosion and say, "I right, we got to toss those bodies like this." <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> With the lightning barrier. You can see the, you can see crows taking flight. Do 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 do. You guys burst back into yield rug tumbler, sweat drenched. We tell you will not believe. <laughs> you, know, you, you, you prob probably believe. Uh, we got nothing out of it and seemed to might have pissed him off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's find Rico, I guess. Alright, let's do it real quick because they, they're sending crows. <laughs> Alright. Beep, boop, beep, beep. Rico. Rico on the phone. <laughs> Rico on the phone. <laughs> Says Rico's taking his shit right now. What's up? Uh, oh, shit. That's a little jingle that plays every time we call Rico on the phone. Wait, how much money have we got on here? Oh, fuck. We have no coin in the crew. We have to... <laughs> we have to cough up our own coin. What? Wait, why don't we just fucking chuck it into the wall? Wait, no, that might be really, really bad. <laughs> We have literally, like, we don't know what's going to happen if we just bring it to the barrier, you know? It could make a very loud waning sound that, like, the entire fucking city could hear. We don't... Yeah. It could shake yeah. the entire fucking barrier. Oh, God. Okay, then we might have to do a job for Rico. Like, we literally have no idea what's All right, going let, to happen. Alright, let's... That'll be our work and chip. We'll do work for him. I mean, the thing is, he might have done this kind of thing before. He might actually, like, know what happens. Yeah, so we can ask him. We'll ask him. Let's take the bodies and go. I want Rico to become an asset. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, so you want to go look for Rico at the Sparkrite assembly or whatever the fuck? I think that there's like a place where Sparkrites hang out in Charter Hall again. Sure. Um, sure. Who's going to talk to Rico? I... I... Well, we have, we've lost. <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll go again. I guess it's explosion and Bloodbeard again. <laughs> Big fix the match. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Blood, Blood so you guys we need people. remain in Charter Hall, drawing increased attention. How dare uh, And <laughs> loiter outside of one of the uh, primary Listen, institutions you, of you the have city's a infrastructure. Wait, if we're outgoing we like... enough, people will think we're normal, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, um, those you see uh, Rico coming out for a smoke break at some point. 
And he, like, looks across the street and sees you guys standing there in, like, trench coats with newspapers out. Big newspapers. <laughs> looks around. Bloodbeard's well, having a hard time holding his. He does not approach. He's just smoking, like, leaning against the exterior wall of the building. Mm, I think this is when we make our move. I... All right, let's go. <laughs> There's something you need to talk to me about. Mm, yes. Hi, we have a hypothetical for you. A hypothetical, okay. <laughs> I'll, right. I'll pretend that I don't know what's happening here. Okay, um, um, hypothetically, you know, as in not bodies, you know. Dead in, tell you can anything. proceed. Okay. Uh, hypothetically, uh, we uh, we don't really want to do that whole uh, ghost thing again. Don't want to go to Lost District again. So we were wondering if we could uh, go just bring bodies to the barrier. What happens if we just sail them on through? If you just sail them on through? Mm -hmm. What would happen? It's a lightning barrier. It fries shit. It's the whole point. Right. Aye, but would this be bad if uh, we threw a body at the lightning barrier on the city there are side? people that man these things, you know. I mean, they make Aye. sure that shit doesn't fry up in it. Aye, uh, and we know someone who mans Or make one. sure that the right shit fries up in it, I guess. Aye, so what we're saying is can we throw bodies at your portion of the lightning barrier? I don't know. It might be more lucrative for me to wait for you to fuck this up and then have to. you guys have to have me turn off the barrier again. No. Oh, I see what he's getting. Out You're a smart man, Rico. I didn't get to where I was by being a dummy. I'm a spark right, right you know. Well, this wasn't. A, this isn't as little as last time. Uh, how much? How much would it be if we kept? If we did this? I'd lean into explosion. Explosion. We ain't got the coin for this. <laughs> you know we can't do this for free, though. Well, I do could you... probably. Uh... I could probably get some people to look the other way if a uh, little bit of money came my way. I do like you guys as cash cows. Aye, we be Aye. your pigs. <laughs> like you guys as my legion of sugar daddies. Yes, we are, dude. Really good. Bloodbeard never had a child before. <laughs> I don't think that would be a very good idea to have. Bloodbeard would be a great dad. All right. You want me to, uh, turn some eyes? I could probably do that for you for, uh, let's call it two coin for my pain and suffering. Coin. How much coin does Gorgon have? I'm not there. <laughs> you remember, hey, they, they talked about it last time. They did talk about it last time. I had six last time, all right? You remember that? No, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to run up a, run up so much money on you but you know talking to my co-workers that's the pain and suffering <laughs> takes a little drag from his cigarette <sighs> it is no i understand it's very dangerous what you're doing here I like to sit in my little lighthouse and just watch the watch the lightning arc you know i don't like to talk to nobody how much you got on you right now bloodbeard <laughs> bloodbeard people <laughs> 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 you, you want to know why Bloodbeard be broke? He turns to Rico. <laughs> <laughs> he be making me a metal arm. <sighs> Rico smiles. What if we ask Gorgon for one coin and I will give up one of mine? I that sounds good. Rico, you stay right here. <laughs> sounds good. Love you guys. Keep bringing more to work my way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, okay, we're walking away. We're running we back to the fucking road. <laughs> you can Sh see there's like, a, there's like a posh, there's a posh person like talking to fucking like a blue coat. Like, it was so special, special over there. Yeah, running back towards uh, Coleridge. We see crows are racing against them. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking on the ground too. They're sprinting. Uh, you guys hustle back to Yield Rug Tumbler. <laughs> Gorgon. It's hard to run with only one arm. Gorgon! What? Please, we need one coin. You need one coin? I... Rico will let us uh, throw bodies on the other side for two coin. I will give up one if you will give up one. 
Blood ring, shut up. Please go again. With the spirit board inside, we will not be happy, remember. Well, I'd rather not get in their bad side again, I suppose. And think about it, see, this, is, this will be a nice uh, future investment. He will, he will keep doing this for us if we, uh, you know, be good friends with them. That's one way of putting it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, hold on one second. I go and I get whatever represents one coin, and I just keep shove it right in the explosion's hands. There you go. All right, all right, it's running. All right, all right let's I, go. I suppose you should all get on the get ready then. Oh uh, yeah, get ready with the bodies. Yeah, all right. Oh, wait, maybe Bloodbeard go get the boat. Sure, you like boats. I Bloodbeard I love boats. Well, why don't you win? Uh, I'll take care of something. I mean, they got Mondo. It, it's him and Mondo. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put the rest of my money in my stash. There we go. Exactly. See, we can we can keep talking to Vico and Mondo and Gorgon will take care. All right, all right. Good luck, explosion. Bloodbeard's going to get the boat. Well, okay then. Like, <laughs> I right, collect Rico alone then. You you rush back to charter all Rico is. Yes. <laughs> you lost one. Yes, he'll, he'll get the bodies ready and all that. Okay. What bodies? I thought this was purely a hypothetical. A uh, hypothetical bodies that they're getting ready. Of course, right, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but here is my non-hypothetical uh, two coins, though. Hmm. You did take a while. I feel like... Uh, I feel like I'm... Hmm. I do like you, though, so this time I'll, I'll let you off the uh, wasting my time tax. But uh, next time... Uh, bring a little extra if you're gonna make me stand around like this. I got work to do, you know? Don't worry, Rico. We will understand each other very well. Yeah, I thought so. I thought we understood each other. Give me that money. Mm -hmm, right here. <laughs> Put some money away. <laughs> Tell your buddy I'll get his uh, fucking middle arm fixed up at some point. Of course. Uh, what time are we uh, doing this? What works for you? Uh... <laughs> right now? It better be right now. But has got the bodies. <laughs> Because uh, we're trying to, I mean, as soon as possible would be very nice, but yes. As soon as possible? He checks his pocket watch. Hey. Give it a couple hours. A couple hours sounds Let's perfect to us. Two and a half. Two and a half sounds perfect you know, to us. You know where I'm stationed, right? Uh, last time, buddy. Same, I, I work at the same spot. Up at the, the, the far, uh. What direction? The far east side of the North Hook Channel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll we'll do it, do it then. All right. I'll uh, I'll spread the word that uh, your vessel is not to be interrupted. All right. Just uh, don't attract any attention from anybody else, because I can't help you with that. We would, we would never. Sure Off you would. Go. All right. Get the fuck out of my face. I got shit to do. Off. Here you go. <laughs> Actually, this time I'm not gonna run anymore. I'm gonna. The blue coats are walking behind you. <clears throat> I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go to the side street here, and I'm gonna start prowling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll say you lose them. Um, <laughs> they're just like that fucking person with the cloak keeps running back and forth between the Sparkrites and Coleridge. What are they doing? They're becoming stronger. It's doing doing fucking cardio. <laughs> uh, so you're getting the bodies together. I return. All right, cool. We paid Rico. <sighs> yes, we are getting the bodies. Yep. Bloodbeard collects the bodies. You're putting them on the mackerel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with the assistance of the Joker, baby, and uh, Tommy Wisecrack, who will of course assist. Of course. Yes. So we do it real quick. <laughs> All the bodies on there, except for uh, giggling Greg, who got a Viking funeral some time ago. God bless. Yes. Spirit uh, wardens don't get him. Yeah. Oh, never again. Th that, ghost. that ghost. That ghost's gonna show up. Um. That's fine. He's gonna happen. It's fine. He's still loyal, even as a ghost. <laughs> have a ghost friend. We'll talk yeah. to him. No. Yeah. Um. Maybe. Put giggling Greg in your arm. Yes. Yeah. No. I thought I suggested that last time. Yeah, but you didn't get his ghost. Uh. Yeah. So. I think he said he didn't want him. 
No, he didn't want he didn't want uh, the Joker baby in his arm. Yeah, but he wanted Tommy Wisecrack. He wants Tommy Wisecrack in his arm. Maybe. (laughs) I I don't remember what I said last session. I don't either. Uh, I I generally generally don't remember anything that you say. Um, That's all it is. So as you guys collect the bodies and get ready to sail up the North Hook Channel. Uh, to Rico's ta- the area of Rico's tower uh, up here at the near the Lost District. I want to say that this is probably a little bit of a school. Oh my! So let's see how this goes, eh? How is this a school? <laughs> Come on, uh, man! So it's quick in and out. You're smuggling. Uh, we well, just yeah, on the one. We they're smuggling about bodies. Spirit, we talked to them and they got mad. They were like, I, we said hypothetically, and they were like, oh, hypothetically, uh huh. They're smarter than we anticipated. And they told us, uh, you know, to never. Uh, we asked, hey, they, they told us how to not, how to not, uh, how to deal with this, and it's to uh, not kill. So they helped big time. And yeah, uh, now cool. the crows, now the crows are gonna find, are going out and find the, the body. We got some yeah. good advice. What, the crows. Some good Why advice are the crows? So don't kill people. He means the Why literal the death seeker crows, like oh. the birds. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. I thought, I thought he meant the gang, and I was like, no. "What? No. So Why are they we're, here? We're doing this now. All right. Uh, well. We'll stuck the Rico, and uh, Rico is cool doing it, but we have to pay him two points. Yeah. That that's pretty much what I figured. Is Rico would be fine with it. <laughs> I think Rico's last name is Shakedown. Mm. Uh. Also, next time, let's not keep him waiting because uh, he wants to be more points. <laughs> um, so let's see how this goes. Where's my engagement roll shit? You fools, you absolute buffoons. You thought you'd be able to get through this quick and easy? Please. You clods. No, Please. The route and means is North Oak Channel mm-hmm. mean, and, uh, and the Bronson Mackerel. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Is the operation particularly bold and daring while you're smuggling a big pile of corpses down the uh, most populated channel in the entire city? So, yes. What's the problem with that? Uh, (laughs) Does the plan's detail expose the vulnerability of the target to hurt them where they're weakest? Not really. Um, So I got a question, though. Since we are in this score, removing bodies instead of adding, do we get negative two heat? (laughs) No. Oh. Um, are there any other elements you want to consider? Yeah, I'm just going to take There's that one right away. Now. All right, you got two die. Woo, that's more uh, average? I don't... It's pretty it's, it's decent. Okay, here we go. We have to have Rico be a contact to provide aid, or... Um, uh, no, he's, I mean, he's... Rico, at this point, is essentially a contact. You guys have gone back yeah, to him a number of times. All oh, right, Mr. White. You put him on your list of buddies or whatever. Rico oh, Shakedown. Sure. Rico Shakedown. That's his now canon name. <laughs> hmm. Yeah? What's up? We What's got a one. Huh? We got a one. <clears throat> so the Death Seeker crows are right on our tail. <laughs> well, let's hear it, boy. One and a three. Um, Go. Cool. Add that up. You got a four. <laughs> I don't. Think there you go. We did it, guys. Let me roll one more die. It was a two. Uh, I got the whole package. There we um, go. One, two, three. Yeah, look at that. Hey, we got it. We got a, a straight. That's a straight. Uh, that's <laughs> you got a straight. You guys win. Woo. Uh, um. Well, this is a disaster. All right, let's see how this fucking goes, eh? All I just wanted to do was transport some bodies. That's all. So, where's my score music? Let's do a. Uh, Let's do Metal Gear Solid 2 again. I like that one. No, you know what? Midnight Shadow would do better for this. Kind of... Alright, so. 
the skeleton crew gathered the bodies stowed below deck, presumably. And began riding the Bronson Mackerel from the docks out past or you, probably you would have collected them at um at the charnel channel where they were left and then yes. up this central uh canal yeah, probably. I don't know. Do we want to? That's the more. Isn't that the more like populated one? You could go. I mean, this, you could go. You could. You could have gone this way. Yeah, but that's like a, that's like a, a a long way around. But yeah, you could. Because there's no way we're going through here because that's all yeah. wealthy. Oh, of course not. Um, wait. So what, what was wrong with the bottom path? Wait. Nothing. I was just wanted to know if that's the one you were doing. Just double checking. Well, I just don't want to go. I just don't. Yeah, I don't want to go through the right in the fucking middle. So that's okay. where like, that's the more rich population. So you're going like. I feel like going through like the short, like the one that's connected to the shelf, you know, Silk Shore and like Rosefoot. You know, that one, that big. One. I don't know if that one's. So like, hold on. Yeah. I mean, like. Oh, uh, I was thinking this, like this one. Oh, okay, just through there. Okay. Well, because I don't, it's not as, not as important. Yeah, it's, it's further away from the, you're right. It, we don't want to get close to the wealthy people at all. Yeah. Unless, of course, we could go the long route that, we, that he was talking about earlier with gear. I mean, we, that's a we wicked could long go route. this way. That's an exceptionally long I don't route. think we I know. Aren't we supposed to not do this in this game? What? Plan. I mean, we have to make a, we have to make a yeah, route. The, the, the route is part of it. The route is the detail that you need. Whatever. Which is why I thought no, we had the out. route, but then you guys were like, which way are we going? And I was like, oh, I, I thought we were we just going up, like, fucking, like, this way, dog. My vote is you just go the way that. So, so yeah, the, the, public. yeah the, well, that's that what we're way. talking about. That's what, that's what we were discussing. The, the one, the one that's Silk Shore one? Is that what we were thinking? This one, the bottom one? The orange. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's what, okay, yeah, that's what I was doing. Okay. God, this is a mess. Um... Do like a giant, we know, a giant we know we're gonna go that way. We know the red one. That's but we're just figuring out which way to go like to get there first. Stop so doing this. Yeah. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> I do a mushroom. Um mushroom. Okay, so you guys starting in the Charnel Channel, you make your way through sort of Char Hollow and Crow's Foot around past Silk Shore and then through the North Oak Channel up to yonder. Yeah boy. Yeah buddy. Cool. Um all right. Get rid of the orange. Really have to use the rest of the crystal. <laughs> He's got PP. PP poo poo break. Pause the recording. Break. PP poo poo break. I'll pause the recording. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All he did was pause the recording for five seconds and KMS whips up a perfect rendition of Shrek's donkey on the map. <laughs> Fuck. Donkey. Pin this one. Pin it. Donkey. It's not loading. It's not. It's there it is. North. We got two pins right one after another. What the fuck? That's not right. <laughs> it's true. Slander. Slander. It's true, though. Fucking shitter. Um, I never pooped. That was a really fucking fast shit. Jesus. <laughs> fuck. Sometimes you just gotta go. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes the kids can't wait to get off the bus. <laughs> They're trying to jump out the windows, man. Yeah, they're like, "Woo!" I got a, I got fucking Kirby's <laughs> epic yarn waiting for me at home. I gotta play it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the kids on the bus are thinking. Yeah, they want to play. You want to get home and play Kirby's epic yarn? <laughs> they're jumping out the windows like I gotta play Kirby's epic yarn. Yeah, they need, they, they need it. They need that Kirby right. lore. Whatever. All right. All right. All right. Let's fucking go. Can we move Donkey to the side? Hold on, I got him. Yeah, just keep him here. He gets to stay. Oh, oh no! <laughs> You're gonna you... move it. You're gonna ruin my drawing. Hold up. Oh, okay. Hold up. No, I'm moving it. Don't touch it. He's on the Ellery now. He just hangs out at the farms. 
I like eels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making eels. <laughs> What? The universe. I'm the making pipe bomb. an eel instead of a dragon. The emperor oh. ordered this. The giant eel. Shrang. Shrang. There we go. Shrang. Oh God, hey Nick, look at Call of Cthulhu Bear. Isn't that that game you just made me play? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna light this fucking city Did on fire. Did you start fire. the recording back up? <laughs> it's already. It's recording. <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> um. No, get that Shrek the fuck out of here. That's horrible. I hate it. <laughs> wow. Hey. Beware the ogre. Alright, fine, I'll leave. <laughs> that does look like that sign, actually. Beware the ogre. Um. <laughs> For big fans of Dreamworks right. here. So. Hello? Desperate situation. Yeah? Oh. Um. You guys are drifting your way through the. Oh. Canals between Char Hollow and Crow's Foot. Keeping a low profile, just trying to casually go about your business, you know. Nothing nothing suspicious here. Nothing sus. Just a whole bunch of guys sleeping under under more. That's pretty good. Taking naps. And then Uh something happens. Uh -oh. I'm really worried about what the first thing that happens is you come around a corner to see that there is a boat that has been capsized <laughs> in the middle of the canal. What? And as you sort of slow up trying not to like hit it because it's like it's like horizontal capsized in the canal. As you're like, whoa, trying to find your way to maneuver around this this new obstacle. Uh, you hear this, like... And... A Molotov explodes on the deck of the Bronson Mackerel. What the fuck? Uh -oh. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting here. <laughs> Erupting the deck into flames... As you see, because this is pretty close to their territory, a series of red sashes leaping aboard to attack. <laughs> we, may, are we may be in like a bad situation with these guys, you know? I think they don't like us. Son of a I, bitch. <laughs> maybe they're here to give us hugs. Hugs. So. Bloodbeard only got one arm. This <laughs> is where we begin. See. So, as the fire <sighs> breaks out on deck, immediately starting to chew through some of the wood, uh, you can see there are what looks like five red sashes that have leapt aboard, and there are probably more beyond that. Fantastic. Okay, so there's a fire on the boat. There's a fire on the boat. I summon a rainstorm to begin with. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to protect these bodies. So, uh, so with... that's Tempest or whatever that Temp takes... Two stress. Two stress. Hey, hey, on the bright side, if we kill these guys, we'll just send them over. Uh, well, no, we'll just keep them, keep them with us. So you, uh... Oh, or you sort of, uh... Um, use your mighty ghost field powers to... Darken the clouds above, and they sort of swirl, and the rain starts to fall. Um, it's probably going to take a minute for that to put out the accelerant uh, lit yeah. fire, but uh, it's helping for sure. Great. I'm going to step back and let the boys take this uh, <laughs> fight for a second. Because I am... Uh, I'm, I'm You're a little beat up. Pretty, I'm pretty beat up, so I'm very close to another trauma. Paparazzi tried to oh. Paparazzi tried to come along uh, today, but like he was like, "Listen, I've got I've got a lot of work down at the office. I'm sure you guys can handle this. I'll I'd I, like I'll I'll be back." I'm mistaken. <laughs> uh, I'll just I'll it's leave fine. this one to you guys. You you got it. In and out. Fifteen minute mission. In and out. Fifteen yeah. minutes. Uh, all right. Anybody else doing something? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to attack someone. 
Okay. Same. There are red sashes closing in on your position. I pull out my big old fine heavy weapon and I fucking go attack one. Okay. I pull I pull out big hammer. Big uh, hammer. What the fuck am I gonna do? Hmm. I don't know. What's going on? Oh, I forgot to mark. What was the thing you were saying that the hammer has? It's uh exceptionally conspicuous. If you bring it, if you if you're bringing it with you or something, you gain uh, an extra point of heat. Oh, okay, that's right. Okay. Because it's like <laughs> people are gonna remember the giant thunder hammer. Hey, wait. That crossbow from the last... Is it just gone now? Um, you could... Like, get another. You could have... You could have... You could have, uh... Just procured got, another. Procured another, another crossbow. It's not... Not the end okay. of the world. If it was, like, a special crossbow, then... Yeah. Alright, alright. No, I see, I see. Like, if I lost this hammer, I'd be real sad. Aww. So you wanna... You wanna skirmish this motherfucker? Nick? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, this is gonna be, I... uh, desperate, and I think great, because you have a fine weapon. Uh, yeah, um, were we doing any disadvantage for the fact that I have one arm, or are we saying that, uh, not to be trifled with is canceling that out? We talked about this last Not time. to be trifled with, um, is, not to be trifled with limit? is something that you have to activate, I think, with stress. Oh, okay. So okay. if you want yeah, to I... activate that, then we can say you don't have a, a a minus. But other than that, I feel like we have to at least take one die away because you're just swinging it with. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So risky standard. Uh, desperate great. Desperate great. Oh, because yes. you have a fine weapon. But, yeah, but yes. then minus one. Uh, how do you do that? I yeah, minus one. Like... Yeah, you can do minus one. You can do up to minus three. Minus one oh. because I have one. Well, you don't. You shouldn't. Have, it's just. It's just one less. So, then whatever your your skirmish yeah. is two. Uh, yes. So just roll one die now. Okay. That's that's three die. No, no, no. So, yeah, the the, the, the menu is a bonus, it. so the bonus should be minus one. So subtract one die. Okay. Yeah, that's what. I was oh, yeah. sorry. I, yeah. I, I I didn't know how it worked. So four. Risky, yeah. great, and then. Desperate great. Desperate great, yeah. Shit, okay. Minus one bonus die, which is at the bottom, I see. Yes, yes, yeah. I didn't know it worked like that. I now right. understand. Well, you don't know, now you know. Alright. Cool. Uh oh. And this is desperate, too. Oh boy. Blood beard, more like blood. Of the rest of his body. <laughs> more like. More like. <laughs> blood. <laughs> blood beard, so more like, like no blood in his body at all. Um, Just a beard. I am just a beard now. That's Bloodbeard, <laughs> you swing to attack, but this guy, these guys are trained sword masters. He just sort of spins the blade, parries it, and then you see his red sash, the ribbon sort of wrapped around his wrist. He just sort of unfurls it, like whipping it like a cobra strike. You feel it wrap around your ankle, and you uh, flip up and off the boat into the water. <laughs> Woo! Oh, no. Oh. That's what's happening to Bloodbeard. <laughs> Bloodbeard be in the water. <laughs> Bloodbeard be swimming with one arm. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, anybody else? Hmm. I, I was gonna hammer. Okay. I, I want to boy. Well, pop let's... one with a hunting rifle. Okay. It's pretty close range, but I mean, it's a gun, so yeah, I, I, I suppose you me. could do it. We're too close for me to use grenades, I think. So. Yeah, that would probably be detrimental. I'm not even sure. What They're I'm on the deck. I, I mean, I'll just roll the grenade forward and just run for my life. Filling your friends with shrapnel. <laughs> That's it. Doesn't fill me with shrapnel now, does it? What's the uh, position? I mean, you could use like, um, smoke or aiming a aiming a hunting rifle at somebody in close quarters as they come at you with a sword on a burning ship is desperate. <laughs> You guys are gonna get some XP on your fucking things, though, so... I, I do this normally. Uh, desperate, and then what kind of gun is it? Is it just a regular? Uh, like a hunting rifle, a large weapon. Yeah, okay, so it's just standard. But, uh, what uh, roll type? Like, hunt? Oh, uh, I think it's hunt to use guns, right? Yeah. 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 Oh. 
Ooh. Okay. Uh, so, after watching Bloodbeard go, whoop into the water, Ooh. this other guy sort of, like, spins his blade and comes at you, and you just sort of raise the gun up and, like, press it straight into his chest and <laughs> fire it. Gets launched backwards off the boat uh, in the opposite direction from Bloodbeard and <laughs> splashes into the water. That's Pop, pop. All right. Pop, pop! How, how many are actually on the boat right now? Uh, there are currently four. Oh... Oh, no. Hmm, I see. There were five. <laughs> there are now four. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna start a clock as well. Could I... I should have started this a minute ago, but I just remembered. Uh, Let me delete that. Is there any way we could, like, confuse him or anything? Because I can't fight in a straight brawl. Hold up. I have poisons that can do things. I think there's a 10 clock. The powders. But I'm not sure if I can really get them all. It's kind of a long, uh, title. And it's gonna be redu- I made the clock bigger and longer because of the rain, but... <laughs> Mackerel burns so bad it starts to sink. Hmm. Wait, where are we at on the map? Where are you on the map? Yes. Like, how far did we get again? You're, like, here. Oh, gee. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get very far. <laughs> okay, alright, yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was, because I thought we were, like, through the lightning barrier. Oh, no, no, no. No, not no, even, no. not even fucking close. Yeah. You haven't even you haven't even gotten out of the the side canals. Mm -hmm. Explosion. Um. Bakaretsu. Kind of want to help my buddy over here, who's in the water. I remember that time that we went to the the fucking spirit wardens. It was great. Don't get me out of here. I want to help my buddy here. Um, is he just like in the water? Or is he like down in there? Like he's he's he like splashed head first into the water and is like <laughs> splashing around down there. Um, we got any like fucking things I can just pull him out of with? Like what? I don't know, like any floaties or fucking sh I don't know. floaties? <laughs> I don't think you have floaties. I don't know if they have like life preservers. Boyos or. Boyos? Boyos? Boyos. <laughs> Alright. You, you could have climbing gear, you know? Irish from Red Dead Redemption I, 1 is chilling. Can throw a rope. Got rope or anything? That's what I'm trying to say, my I dog. mean, presumably on a boat you have rope. <laughs> Alright. I will take that a rope and I want to really just throw kind of fishing throw, it out, out. throw it out to him. Okay. You throw the rope, you cast the rope into the water. There's, you, there's now a, a, a lifeline of rope into the water. Neat. <laughs> Thank God, Bloodbreak can use this to hang himself. That'd be impressive, bro. <laughs> yeah. bro. What are you up to, Kilowatt? I have... I, I'm gonna try and hammer <laughs> one of the red sashes. Okay. Also, I don't want to get too far forward because I realize I only got two people fighting right now up here, and I don't want to get surrounded. I don't know if that means anything but I'm saying can, can we say that we brought fucking the joke of baby and desperate ray what is it what are the it's desperate right yeah I mean a desperate situation oh uh, yeah it's desperate for sure desperate you're doing wreck yes yeah okay all right get it get it we'll, we'll see if I get it I don't <laughs> oh no Mean. Hmm. I could do something that would be really asshole-ish, but I don't think I'm going to. Good to hear. Thank God. Good to hear. I was going to, um... Zap the boat? Zap no, the boat. I was going to have him miss, swing the hammer down into the water, and have the lightning electrocute Bloodbeard. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but it's supposed to yeah. but it's supposed to hurt the person who did it, I think. Uh, so yeah. Oh well. Bloodbeard is a heart of the party. It would hurt him if he hurt Bloodbeard. <laughs> um <laughs> So Thanks, you Bloodbeard. go to you go to swing this like massive hammer out towards him the red sass just sort of like steps to the side as you like swing with all your body weight and then he just uh thrusts forward and unless you resist this blade is gonna be level three harm stabbed in the gut well i'm gonna resist okay wait yeah resist and then but one use. Uh, you know. I'll, use. I'll use armor. I'll also use armor. Armor. Okay. Three uh, so you, you he stabs forward. You <gasps> sort of suck in your gut. Uh, to avoid getting stabbed as he sort of like slices past you and it scrapes along but it only partially scrapes you due to the uh, body armor you so thoughtfully brought along just in case um so you get level one harm a uh, bad scrape on abdomen Ooh, my rock hard abs have been scraped um hmm. uh back to the top Watching this whole situation unfold, you know, ever since that last time they went to the Deadlands, Gorgon's been pretty trauma colon reckless. So, I think she's gonna uh, step back from finishing her little summoning ritual, and she's just going to pull out a knife and sprint at the closest sash. <laughs> okay. Jeez. That's that's uh that's no, right. now remember you don't have to play the drama. Yeah, but yeah. it's fun to do. But if you do, yeah, you get big, big eggs. Big, All right, big eggs, big. Plus, <laughs> you can't so this, get eggs. Your character's dead. This is like a, a you're going for a skirmish or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any points in skirmish? Sure, I do. I have one. Ooh. Yeah. Des it's desperate good. standard. Desperate. Desperate standard, that's what I'm all about, baby! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Guys! What's happening? This is the end. Uh, this is the end, armor. my friend. This is the exact opposite of last session. <laughs> For some of us. And yeah, this is, this is just a continuation for me. This is supposed to be an easy The one mission. time Ar 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 Arpel's gonna come Ar I can't wait to see how my favorite skeleton crew is doing. <laughs> okay, but can we say that we also brought uh, fucking Dejoka Baby and Tommy Wisecrack? Uh, that would be a flashback, flashback bro. Or... Yeah, but is that... How much stress okay. would it be, though? Yeah, how much stress? I mean... It's nothing too complex, just telling them, hey, come with us. Flashback I guess, just, I guess probably just one. Cool, alright. I think yeah, we had him, like, time. trailing along the canal in case we got jumped. In, uh, in Old Stinky. Old yes. Stinky. Yeah. Um, so. Oof, Jesus Christ. Okay, let me see here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. That should be, I guess because of my injury, that should be Desperate um, Limited. Oh, yeah, you're right. It would have been Desperate Limited. Roll it again to see what you would have got. I mean, it wouldn't change the die roll. Oh. It, well, it, just, you know, let's see. Just, just do it. You know, the word right. will be different when you rolled it. No, 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 no. You have to do it in the little machine. Oh, no, then I'll get confused. Yeah. Don't, so don't count the XP wrong. Some of you will get scared. He hates numbers. I hate you. Uh, so I severe. Okay. Ugh. Unpog. Unpog. This will actually be funny. It's time to bug. Um, we all laugh out loud as you as rush, sad. you charge this individual, and he just again s sidesteps and basically just trips you <laughs> with his foot, and you go oh, stumbling, crashing into a uh, a lantern you guys had placed up 
for for light to, uh, so that you guys could make your way through these canals, which tips over, crashes onto the deck, and <laughs> starts to ignite the flames further. I'm going to uh, resist that consequence. My god. <laughs> so I, it doesn't happen, I use up an armor. <laughs> you uh, use yeah. up an arm? armor? You use a gauntlet to catch the lantern. Uh, okay, so you, uh... <laughs> the lantern falls... And you just sort of like, <laughs> like on your back, just sort of like bat it away with the with the the I guess the body armor, and it boo, spirals into the water instead. Uh, uh, okay. I don't think we have to have it literally involve body armor every time. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying it. Okay. It's like, oh, that's a book. Uh, I get up and ask the voice. Maybe I'll wield this lantern as a weapon. Maybe I'll throw it out the boat. We'll see what happens. Yeah. That's that's me though. Maybe I'll throw it right in Bloodbeard's fucking face. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, do it. Well, it says armor that applies to the situation. What's your armor? <laughs> it's just armor. I don't know. I mean, we described it in a way, but I don't know if that. I don't know if. It's, Preventing fire is something that armor really applies to. Do you know? You, you could if you were to if it's like a lit lantern and you just like grab the burnt like the glass that was hot. Sure, I guess with the with padded gloves or something and what? Yeah. Sure, fuck it, whatever. It's but fine. I guess it was real hot and it burns the armor. Away. Yeah. You had an oven mitt for armor. Uh, Bloodbeard, you technically went next. You want to do something? Come on, yeah, come like to the to rope. I would like to you know, burn a little bit of stress and say that our boys were following close behind and okay. pulled me out. Uh, at this point. <laughs> there it is. But on the good part. But on the good part. Uh, good part. As Bloodbeard is like sort of sloshing around down there, he's like, wait a second, where are those? I can hear them coming, as you hear, echoing down the, <laughs> echoing down the canal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Joker, baby. We all and you look. see old Stinky riding up alongside with the Joker, baby. Uh, both his sawed-off shotguns in hand. Oh fuck! How's you going the boat? Uh, you. He isn't driving it. Um, fucking. Uh, Tommy Wisecrack behind the wheel, and several gang members with crossbows. <laughs> Yeah. Just riding up, ready to go. And the red sashes turn, and you hear... Shit! <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's happening. Yeah. So what, is Bloodbeard just like, sitting at the bottom of the river, like Tom and Jerry style? Um, you can also do something. That was just a flashback. Okay, well, I'm swimming to the surface, swimming to one of my boys. Uh, you want to try to like get back onto the boat? Um, okay, what what would I think would be easier to do? Swim to the crew, like the gang members, or the actual party members? Pro it would probably be, I mean, there's a rope coming down off of your boat, oh, yes, but, it's also, yeah. but it's also on fire and there are people fighting on it. So it's kind of a toss-up, honestly. That's, it's but normal. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get back on the boat, our boat. Bra mackerel. Mackerel. Okay, um, so I guess, I think, uh, Prowl is the one that usually is climbing, right? I can run I believe yeah. so. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the climb one, so we'll say this is a, a desperate, desperate limited climb. And then the minus one bonus die, or? Um, we'll say you have really good upper body strength, so I'm just yeah. saying that the limited is, is what... He can't here. normally grasp a, a rope. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I was going to say, he can't normally oh. grasp a rope with a foot oh. arm anyways. So this would be normal, but... So, <laughs> you uh, grab onto the rope and start to lift it's yourself up. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, I can't do it once I've rolled, right? Do what? Flashbacks. I can't do flashbacks once I've rolled, right? You, r flashbacks can't retcon. Okay. Yeah, you, you still get the effect. Yeah. Then you uh, can resist so you pull up, and uh, that thing that the, there was like a little metal strut, a uh, little metal spike or whatever that the uh, the rope was tied to, uh, explosion on deck. You see it just sort of wrench in the deck and then come out and go over the edge. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. 
and Bloodbeard just <laughs> starts like flailing around in the water again as the boat continues moving away. Our hero was in a stupid situation. Or if we had a mark to XP for that skirmish, let's do that. So oh, wait, do we. Do we mark even if we fail? Uh, it's just if you it's just if you make the roll. Cool. Yeah. We'll do that later. I'll do it later. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep a, keep them noted at least. Yeah. Um. So that's what Bloodbeard's up to. Everybody else? <laughs> Interesting. There's still four living red sashes. Yeah. Uh, I want to pop one. Try to pop one. Maybe. Okay. Um, give it give it a shot, son. What's the position? This is still desperate. <laughs> You guys are going to get a lot of ability XP for this one. Yeah. We also may die. What's standard? That would be great. Uh, standard... Uh, yeah, standard, yeah. Um, since this is such a desperate situation, I'm going to push myself. Okay. Got to get the good shot. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, oh my god, god. Straight. Yeah. Straight. Oh, You got it straight oh, again, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ, bro. Uh, three, two, one. You uh go to fire the gun, and the uh the red sash steps forward and swings the sword and just <laughs> carves through part of the rifle and just <laughs> breaks it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that that rifle's busted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta pull out a new weapon. Um, hmm. explosion and a kilowatt. Do we have any more rope, or is Eve just talking? Let's <laughs> <laughs> be sweep, sweeping with the fishes. You um, can sweep. You can uh, onto the other boat. You I could. You could fuck with rope, but there are uh, the the red sashes are not just letting you stand there anymore. They're advancing upon you now. I suppose yeah. so. Yeah. All right. What would it? What are throwing knives? Throwing that, knives. What do I require for that? What is it? Fuck, bro. I don't know. You decide. Within reason. Yeah. Well, Theoretically, because, like, you do decide. I do decide. Yeah. He decides what to do. I, I mean, like the only. So. Um. It, like finesse would that be, or was that not like a fighting thing at all? I don't know, that's what I was, I was thinking. Uses finesse finesse, finesse like isn't it. really fighting, usually. Well, it's like... Well, the book uses it for, like, sword fighting duels. I suppose, I suppose it can be for, like, yeah. like eh, I suppose. You could, tr you could try to use finesse, but I'd say the effect is uh, reduced. Reduced? Yeah. Um, okay. Because, like, well, I have one dot in hunt. Well, I could push it, actually. You know what? I I pull out the crossbow. All right, the crossbow is here. And I I aim for the boy who's ever closest and to get him away from here. He's coming at you. He's coming at you with a curved sword. I push it so I can get two die. All right. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's just see here. A nice and desperate one here, but it's a great because it's a fine heavy weapon. Don't worry, we're good here. We're gonna be, we're gonna be fine. Oh! I got a four though. You got it. Uh, so he steps forward and he swings the blade, and you feel the blade cut into you. <laughs> but you pull the trigger, thunk, and you see it go into his stomach, and he sort of like staggers back, grabbing onto that, and like slumps back against the. Uh, the the edge of the boat. Uh, you can resist the harm that I just dealt to you if you want. If you're feeling ballsy, because I know your stress is piling up. Oh boy, is it ever. Um. God. Uh, I'll tell you what kind of harm it'll be. Yes, that'd be very nice. Uh. Because this is a desperate situation. Uh, this is gonna be, uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be level three harm, he cuts your wrist. Fucking mean. <laughs> it's desperate, um, I'm supposed to do severe harm to you. Okay. Mm. Sorry. 
I don't like this. Could it's just I, be, it's it's mostly because there's still so many guys. I don't want XP anymore, guys. I could uh could I wait hold on. Okay, so the load. The load. So I got two I I I chose Share three right. the I load. wanted to go concealed here. I'm assuming I can't fall out armor because I already have two. You can't go over your load. Yeah, yeah, that's only if I pick it up I can go over the load, right? Yeah. Alright. Um God, that's gonna be. It's gonna I, be with dicey. How, with how quantum has been going, I really don't want to fucking. It's gonna be it dicey. Out. Why? What's your stress at? How much you got left? I only got three left, but you know what? <clears throat> what fuck it. We, we all need a little trauma why, in our why lives. Why don't you do a devil's bargain? Why don't you do, hey, why don't you do a devil's bargain? How much my devil's bargain gonna be? I fall into the one. Maybe. The, the action is going on right now. Hmm. Yeah. It's already happened. I don't think he can double bargain. Yeah, he's I don't know if the, the double bargain works for resist. Um. Oh, actually, I don't know. I don't think it does. There's a section that talks about devil's bargains. It's just like one uh, fifth of a page. That's. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. Find it. Find it. <laughs> that was really Find helpful, it. bro. Find it. Yeah. No. There's no. It's just uh, on there's a section on just resistance roll and it says only one for like an attribute dot. Oh here it is. That was smart, it's on an associate funny what I think it's supposed to be something that happens before a roll. And it gives you bonus dies. Well it means if he could do it to give him a bonus die on the resist. Okay, so uh, what's the resist? Is it prowess? Uh, this would be prowess, yeah. I'm just gonna do it. If I get a little trauma in my life, that's fine. Yeah, that makes you incapacitate. You're down. I will, I will be into the funny water. No, like you're down, down. What do you mean? You're in. You're unconscious. It's true. What do you? Mean? You need help to do anything when you're at level three arm. Level three arm. You you're traumatized. Recently. You are. Done. You're gone for the fight. But you I would just, I would just be right here. Yeah, that's what happened to me. I was just gone the whole. You're, Remember when he fell off the boat and before. then he was gone for the rest of that sequence because he got a trauma. Yeah. But then, if I get level three harm, I'd be just on the ground and I'd need help. Yeah. Or you can push yeah. yourself to act even while you're incapacitated. Is that? Can like, you? Yeah. Push myself. Like, push you push sure. yourself. To, yeah, you can technically push yourself to act while you're. In, uh, incapacitated, but you have to push yourself and take stress. So. Hmm. Oh, that. Oh. Hmm. Kind of like that. Well, it's either it's either it's either that or you definitely get a trauma because I can see what you rolled here. I. Uh, you did shoot that guy with the crossbow, though. Good job. Did shoot that you guy with the crossbow. No, there's only like three guys. You know. I want to do level three harm. I okay. will go down. I will, the, the Joker babies are also here, so. All right. Right slit wrist. Right. Up on level three harm there, and you just sort of like, <clears throat> like, fall back, like clamping your hand over your wrist, like <sighs> you can't take pressure off that, or you're gonna be in trouble. So, uh, you you're kind of like out of this for the moment. All right. Um. How close is the Joker baby and his gang? Uh, they're they're pulling up alongside. They're getting ready to uh, lay into these motherfuckers, but they're still oh, okay. they're still arriving. Yeah. Is there can can I like get further away from them with Mondo and explosion and try and smoke bomb us to? Just you want to smoke? You want to smoke bomb? Um. The... Like back, so I smoke bomb our half of the ship or something. It's not really. There's not really a half of a ship. This is everybody's mixed in with everybody here. Hmm. Hmm. Because this would create more danger. Would be add more. Oh, well, if I smoke bomb, then nobody can see anybody. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if we want to like smoke it just because also the, our boys are coming up and they got range weapons. Yeah, that's, why, that's yeah. what I mean. You got some guys coming in with uh, crossbows and shit. Yeah. 
Mm. What happened to his hammer? I... It's, he's still got it. Okay, I thought because I remember yeah, you still had it. Yeah. No, the only yeah. weapon I destroyed was the rifle. Yes. My large weapon. All right, let me. I, I don't know how close I are, but I do have powder that causes blindness, so. <laughs> you could definitely try to do that. I I want to try and just sort of throw that out, and I I get out some sand. <laughs> hey, pocket sand. Powder. Or this is eye blind poison, but it's a powder, but it's a poison. Is it actually a powder? It's a powder, yes. Okay. Um. So you want to just pocket sand somebody with eye blind poison? Yes, I wish to, like, whoever is closest to us and sort of back up so I can, like, make some room for when the Joker baby and such come on board. Okay, I guess this would probably be a desperate tinker? Because we've been using tinker to use your items. Yeah, because I, I don't know what how they would use. Uh, or no, we've been using rec, actually, haven't we? Both? It depends. It depends. Hold on. Let me just take a look at the abilities here. Maybe they actually stay, because... Rack of Flint. No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, ten years. They don't really either say it, but I would... Oh, wait, no. Tinker is strange alchemicals. Yeah, let's, let's fuck with Tinker, then. I fucks with Tinker. Okay. Uh, desperate what? standard. Oh. <laughs> I love Desperate. Desperate's fun. And it? You guys are making so many Desperate rolls. Arple's missing out on a lot of XP. Sorry, Arple. I, I love the... Yeah. Just a slow day. <laughs> oh. I did it, though. Uh, he did it! He did it! Uh, so you... Huh, whoosh, uh, spray out the, uh, the eye blind poison. Uh, into the eyes of the nearest, um, uh, uh, the nearest red sash goes, ah! Ah! It starts clutching his eyes, like, ah! I am blind! I am blind! <laughs> and then a little bit of the wind carries it into your eyes. <laughs> Oh, oh, no! I'm blind! I'm blind! <laughs> and both of you are going, Ah! I'm blind! <laughs> We're blind. <laughs> we collectively are blind! Uh, okay, um... As you go around, I would like to use command to assist the boys with their ranged attacks as they come up on the boat. Okay, I was, I was, about, to, I was about to do something for them, so... All right. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll give them an extra die on their upcoming uh, firing. Oh, by uh, assist. Do I use? Can I use the same rules as like you do with the other thing, where I use command and it rolls with them? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Two, two. Yeah, but what if you fuck it up? Go five. Oh. Um, That's a six, two. baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Joker, baby. Um, Joker, baby. he's not quite close enough to fire his double barrel, his uh, his sawed-off shotguns yet. But he just sort of a, uh, he sort of spins them, <laughs> puts them into his like holsters on his side, and then he raises his hand and just like does a chopping motion forward and says, "I'm the Joker, baby!" And shook, 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 shook. The uh, crossbows are fired. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, fuck boys. it. I don't want them to be crossbows. I want this to be cooler. It's a firing line of rifles. <laughs> and it just the 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 canal is alight with rifle light, and rifle smoke fills the air as behind the wheel, uh, Tommy Wisecrack goes into the night. That's the wisest crap he's done yet. Uh, you see, uh, two of the red sashes. Just get shredded, just <laughs> and blown completely off the ship. The remaining one spinning his blade is like, oh shit. <laughs> um, God. My turn. Uh, it is your turn. Okay. Um, how am I doing? <laughs> The boat is leaving you behind, and you're paddling after it. 
Um, so where are the rest of the gang? The clown crew? They're they're like parallel with the uh, with the boat, so they're a, a ways up ahead. You're just sort of like floating in the river, basically, just like trying to keep. You're 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 treading water. Okay, uh, Ludwig's just gonna go to the side of the river and get on dry <laughs> okay. land. Just just give me a, a, a risky standard prowl. Oh God. Yeah, boy. Uh, this is oh, oh thank God. Uh, wow. You just <laughs> this is gonna be like drag yourself and just like roll onto the shore like. Ugh. <laughs> like this guy and like Gizel is just gonna disappear in the water and we're gonna be like fuck. What, what do we do? <laughs> fuck did he go? He came back. Just like Blood Bridge will come back after you guys finish this. Um. Bridge. <laughs> Mondo, anything with the last guy uh, here? Yeah, I'll take out a pistol and shoot him. <laughs> okay. That'd be a hunt. Uh, yeah. Right. I would say this uh, is just risky standard since he's the only one left. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a critical! It's a crit! Is this crit, the first crit, crit, crit! Crit! I think this might be our first crit, boys! Holy shit! It, boys. Crit! 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 And it was, great. <laughs> once everything, once everything is fine, <laughs> right? Mom does like. All right, I guess I should probably do. This. All right, I, I guess I should just get vicious I'll now. Above and beyond. Now. Explodes. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. It scares the sashes so bad we get a plus one to our relationship. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, um, God. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh God. Um. So that guy's sort of like staring like, oh, and while his mouth is open, Mondo just sort of steps to the side, sticks the gun in his mouth, and, <laughs> and his head just <laughs> empties out the back. I do the Joker's fatality from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and you hear, and you hear, oh, from the boat, and I'm the Joker! baby and you hear we're the joker baby <laughs> and, uh, there is great whooping and applause and giggling from the other boat as the last red sash drops and you see bloodbeard jogging alongside the boat along the shore uh our bloodbeard be needing no right, cardio for a let's few let's get the fire put out and get sure. the those other bodies on board yes we shall we shall dredge the corpses <laughs> I really hope the fairy wardens are just no, watching. I don't want to leave more bodies trying just, to move bodies. They're just watching from the shore to see what's <laughs> happening. A single tear falls down them. their face and they just say, God, they're bastards, but yeah, you so proud. <laughs> yeah, you better pick up every last one. You leave, you leave even one corpse on there. You pick up every last one of those corpses. <laughs> Does Blunder see any spirit warden crows as he's running back to the ships? Uh, yeah. Right, do, they look, do they look at Bloodbeard? Ah! <laughs> I'm petting it. Blood, Blood, Bloodbeard tries to pet one. They're probably just normal crows. It's, I, they're not that close. <laughs> Bloodbeard jumps up and starts to scream the tree to get out to pet another one. Guy. Um, yeah, Bloodbeard one. holds it. It's, it's like the fucking, like, the Sistine Chapel painting with Bloodbeard and a crow very, very far away. <laughs> so, we'll say, with the reduction in danger, you're able to, uh, put out the fire with the copious amounts of water at your disposal. Uh, it's and fish out, fish the bodies back up onto the thing as you continue on your way. Although... The Bronson mackerel has been scourged by the fire, and it it looks like a fire was started on it. It looks it looks a little looks a little rough around the it's edges and some bastards. places. They went for our pride and joy. It oh, sure God. did. Slashes, slashes, slashes. Uh, the Joker baby and the crew sort of pull off. Uh, because. You know, it would be suspicious if you guys were still traveling together. Yeah. We all give them their little kisses and we send them on their way. Yeah, we, give them, we give them a little treat, a little salami, and we send them on their way. I'm the joker, baby! Oh, he, he says, winking. Oh, he loves salami, joker. that joker. 
He, he puts the salami under his tongue and he just holds it there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he likes to do with it. <laughs> he likes to savor the taste for weeks. Yeah. It, it's like it's like letting chocolate melt in your mouth, except he's doing it with meat. Yeah. yeah he does it for like weeks. It takes a while to dissolve. Yeah. That's dark. He's fun. still got salami in there from the last time you gave him a snack. <laughs> you can see when he puts it under his tongue, you can see like other three other slices. In various states of decomposition. <laughs> did you see that? They blew their fucking heads up. Amazing. And you did too. Pretty cool. Bloodbeard did nothing. Oh, pretty cool. Sometimes I, was I love violence. I almost died. <laughs> Explosion is still like holding <laughs> her wrist. I'm still here. And, uh, I'm right. Right. Actually, I, yeah. I don't. Uh, I need some help. What skill? Or a, I get a fucking the medicines. If you if the tinker can get the physician skill, I think. I I know I can get the physicer, but without it, can I just not? Um, just no, you gotta. It's it's healing is something that's gotta take some time. Okay. You could probably bandage it up, but explosion has lost so much blood that she could do very little at the moment other than sit there. Okay. Like she's she's going? pale in the face. It's not looking good. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling very light. Light as air. <laughs> like, um, like I could just float away. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. Hey. Just don't uh, let that blood get out of track. Yeah. Alright. How close is the fucking gate? think we're anywhere near. We're, we're still like a charcoal, aren't we? <laughs> Great. Can, can we get that this is where we are? This little blue arrow? No. Um... <laughs> yeah, I, I got you. So you oh, guys, I... finally wind your way out to this canal. Up past uh, Tangle Town. That's what this thing is. Is uh, there a below deck? Is there a below deck? I assumed that's where you were keeping the bodies. Yeah, there's a below deck. There's a below okay, deck. It's, with a bit, it's a bit full right now. <laughs> there's a lot of bodies piled up in there. I'm sitting on a body. Okay. And, uh... Hello, guys. How are you today? <laughs> oh, I'm doing okay. Alright. You, Mondo. Uh, making your way around the docks now. Past where the Leviathan Hunter ships are docked. You can see there's the spot where the Erebus is docked. There is a large blue coat presence around that area. Wow. Wonder what happened there. Looks like the ship is part there's the ship is in bad condition. It does not look seaworthy. Part of it, it it almost looks like it's been broken in half and is like sunk in on itself. Like almost like it's almost like a like a really like a really obtuse angled V. It doesn't look good. <laughs> And there's a, a number of officials investigating this. Uh, whatever happened there? And a lot of, and a number of spirit wardens in attendance, taking care of the numerous bodies. Wait, uh, nice of them. Wait, where was this? This is the uh, the site of the Erebus, the Leviathan hunter ship that had a unfortunate demon oh. problem recently. <laughs> Real shame that happened. <laughs> oh, what happened there? I wasn't there. I don't remember that. Nobody died there. It wasn't our fault. I wasn't Tee. even there. Tee -hee. Dr. Kilowatt hasn't blinked in a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes are getting really oh, dry. Looks like there was a lot of bloodshed there. That, that sounds awful. Crazy. Wow. wow. Um, 
Uh -huh. You can see Death Seeker crows in the sky. But the Spirit Wardens are occupied at the moment, so they don't notice your little ship just scuttling by on the outside. Too busy looking at the other mess we made. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other mess hey. that you were you were nearby. You yeah. just contributed a couple of bill hooks to the pile. That's Simply true. present. That's all. Um. And then you start making your way underneath the bridge that leads to the island district of White Crown. Through this section of North Hook that is between White Crown and Brightstone. Some of the most heavily policed water in the city. As you drift closer and closer to the edge of the city, you see chunk, spotlight from a blue coat ship. Uh oh, that's not Rico. Hmm. As it's just sort of pulling up alongside you slowly. Wait a minute, but but I hate the blue coats. Mondo. Yeah, fuck the blue coats. Oh no! Is... You're gonna have to bribe them. Or, uh, wait, 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 wait is Stinky... who should I disguise myself as? Is... God, I don't know. God, I don't Dobson. know. Dobson. Hey, it's me, Dobson. I want to see me inflate. <laughs> they just pull away in a hurry. <laughs> oh no, sir, we're good. Thank you. They, bro. they all, they all bow and scrape. I don't get it. As he's the immortal emperor. Bow and scrape. I uh, a uh, uh, I um get below. Who's the most conspicuous? I well, I'm conspicuous. I get below deck. <laughs> How's it going? I get below I, deck. Look at the. I, I try and cover the stink lines from the bodies. <laughs> Bloodbeard just lays across them as after we put a tarp over them. We'll blame it on Bloodbeard. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the boat is now pulling up alongside you. And you can see there's a, a blue coat sort of uh, standing near the edge of it. It says, What's your business in these waters? Oh, no! No, no, just doing a little bit of sailing off of the... Recreational, huh? Is that it? Just a little bit, yeah. Might I inquire something, then? Mm-hmm. What does it smell like? <laughs> Fire and blood. <laughs> <laughs> we had a bit of an engine fire here earlier, and uh, some of our crew got hurt. I can see that one there is there. Looking pale as a ghost. Hey. Yeah, we'll be getting some medical. <laughs> Holding her wrist on. like, oh. Fix it, it, Captain. Make it, make a sway. All right. What's Can that we position? stop? A uh, risky home. standard. Can I? Assist? I want to assist with the sway. Nah. Can I? In what manner? How do you assist? I. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to help with the whole. Hey, Captain. You know. With Oh, I'm, oh, I'm saying I tried to help with the engine and all that. I'm I'm a crew member. I'm, yes. I'm just sailing. I got her. Oh. Sure, fine. Give yourself a bonus. I'm a, I'm a little baby. Hey. Okay. Engine fire, eh? You look like you're doing all right now. Oh. He, he looks over it. Does this thing even have a... <laughs> I mean, how do you fit an electroplasmic engine on this little bitch? Hey. It's a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, pattern tech. Really? That's pretty expensive shot. I mean, usually um, only larger ships like Leviathan hunter ships have engines. Yeah. I'm going... I can't... I can't really see any... I can be what? honest. I, I just want to, uh... I'll... He, like, looks back at his guys like, 
What, Davis, don't look at me like that. I'm an enthusiast. He looks back. Do you mind if I come on board and, and take a look? I'm, I'm a real big fan. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a gearhead myself. Hurry, 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 I'm a sparkhead myself. It's still a little bit dangerous down there. I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, it's all right. You know, I'm a bit. I'm a. I'm a electroplasm monkey. I, I can. Uh, I, I, I can. I can kick it with I, a bit. You know, I was no, gonna I, be a spark right, actually. I went a, to the I'm college and all that. We're, I, we're I, gonna need to. We're uh, gonna need to get out of here and get our friends some medical attention here soon. So. Is that me, Mark? Well, uh, we can. Yeah. We can escort you back to. Uh, back to. We can oh. get you back to somewhere. Um, come with oh. us. Oh no, uh, that'll be fine. We gotta. Well, it looks. Uh, pardon me for saying so, but it looks like your bearings off. You're heading straight for the lightning gate. Uh, are we? Uh, that's right. Checked on that. <laughs> Listen, I understand if you don't want to show me your patent technology. I'm gonna have to talk about this with some of my friends at the Spark Rights. They're gonna want to know about this. Um, so. Uh, Honestly, just let, just let us escort you. It really looks like you're in trouble. I mean, that one, she looks like she's got about uh, five minutes left. Uh, oh, all right, we can... Oh, uh, I'll be fine. I'm going to whisper to the guys. All right, we'll, we'll let them... Uh, uh... I have a flashback. <laughs> uh, we actually put the bodies onto Joker Baby's ship. You, you transferred the bodies when they yeah. showed yeah. up? Bait and switch. Bait and switch. Uh, bait and switch. There, there's some bait and switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, as, as this is happening. Of, there's a bunch of goons playing cards down there where the bodies were. Yeah, no, as this yeah. is happening, Bloodbeard is on the other ship with the Joker baby and uh, <laughs> okay. fucking ki okay. uh, Yeah. And this like we're. <laughs> And like the, behind the fucking blue coat. We don't want them to know that we're running a, a game. Yeah, game behind the blue coats, you can see them like off in the distance, like fucking hurrying, like tossing bodies this through is, the fucking lightning. Game. This is kind of I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. This is kind of an extraordinary leap to say that you would have transferred all the bodies to the other ship, uh, and it's pr it's it's close to a retcon. So I'm gonna say take three stress for this flashback. That's fine. Thing is, I was going to say this was original plan, but then you said the rest of ashes actually came. I was like, I thought we were going to get caught first originally. <laughs> and I was going to say, all right, we'll do a decoy thing or something. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, escort sounds good. Let's get going. All right. Well, come with us. Uh, I don't know. Pardon me. No offense, but I don't know if you could uh, pass muster at some of the hospitals that uh, Brightstone, a charter hole, but I know a place at the docks uh, that I think you could you could get uh, some help at. So come with us. All right, sounds good. Thank you. I get close to Mondo. I fucking hate blueberries. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I hold up to explosion. I know, mate. Me too. <laughs> and they just sort of like uh, guide you back uh, towards the uh, uh, towards the docks as. As as this is happening, the camera refocuses slightly and zooms in in the background, where Old Stinky is drifting quietly by behind them, Bloodbeard and the Joker Baby on the deck, shirtless, just standing there in front. Shirtless, of standing up, there up to get, They're both shirtless. They're both shirtless. They're both standing there, and they're repeatedly doing the predator clasp, <laughs> <laughs> like over and over with with different uh, like switching arms every time. I only have one. <laughs> Oh yeah, you you're missing an arm. No, you're doing you're doing one of the clasps, and uh, and um, fucking uh, Tommy Wisecrack is standing shoulder to shoulder with you, doing the other arm for to Joker yeah. baby. I'm the Joker baby. The Joker baby's also double jointed. Yeah, he can uh twist his arm around and do the other way. You, can do you, you don't even have to switch. Oh God. And with that, as you guys are slowly carted off away, the old stinky starts to pull up towards the <laughs> lightning barrier. And you see uh, a lantern flash up in Rico's tower, just... I think that's when you should, uh, do we have any lanterns, you know, just kind of wave back, like... Well, it's just Bloodbeard. <laughs> yeah. 
He just starts screaming. Bloodbeard probably. I mean, does he lantern. recognize that it's him there? I mean, the lantern flashes, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I do the job. Okay. The, do the, thing. the Joker baby, uh, Tommy Wisecrack, and Bloodbeard just start chucking bodies towards the <laughs> lightning barrier. Yeah. And you watch them. It? You watch them fry like uh, like people going through the lightning barriers in dishonor. And just. Ah, very good. <laughs> I, there they go. Completely yeah. obliterating the bodies. <laughs> to energy ball. Although you can yeah. see it causing like like it's causing flashes in the barrier that are We're doing that it are real quick once we that are bright. This. It's like it almost looks like there's like a as you guys are as you guys are being guided back towards the docks by these friendly blue coats, you can see in the background what looks like a distant strobe just <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Um, yeah, like that, like the fucking, <laughs> like that thing from Half-Life. Yes. Um, you guys dump off the bodies as quickly as you can, and you start making your way back as quickly as you can. So I think we should, uh, find a good route next time we should find a nice like talk to some people and <laughs> wow. I don't want to have to do a big funny score every single time we got a body dump and though the uh, some blue coats come to investigate those flashes as you're drifting away you can see them heading up to Rico's lighthouse where Rico will probably spin some bullshit. Uh, and though the Death Seeker oh, crows it's it's sort of a, fly in a circle in the area where the bodies were dumped for a moment before dispersing. Old Stinky manages to get away. It's our boys. And ladies and gentlemen. With that, and the rest of you guys being dropped off at the docks by the friendly blue coats who wave goodbye and say, "I, I, I wanna, I wanna hear more about that that stuff." My name is, my name is, uh, uh my name is Brandel, and I wanna know, <laughs> I wanna know more about that thing. I'm gonna come find you guys. I'm gonna come find you guys. I wanna know more about that engine. We're friends now. Goodbye. <laughs> and All right, we are contacted oh. the blue coats now. How Fucking did. fantastic. How <laughs> Say something like that. Oh, <laughs> I'll have to. I'll have to. <laughs> coat in the same I'll have to tell my best buddy Domit about this. <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't see me like this. <laughs> At least Domit wasn't there to to laugh hysterically at your pain and misfortune. And that's the score, folks. Wait, they did. We did it. Not All too right. bad. See, I, as we start, I started to score it. How much is this? I started to score it five stress. Ended it with seven, and I'm absolutely fine. Hell yeah! And we didn't get any new traumas, although we were fucking close. Mm -hmm. well, that was a, that was a rough battle. If it wasn't for your investing in that gang, was a very good move. Yeah. It was. They are very good plot device. They're very nice. The Joker baby. The Joker baby king. And it, diff, killing the vultures was very good because old Stinky has come in handy more than once. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. Let me just get those out of the way. Right. So. so, since we took the bodies that we made and destroyed them, we don't get extra heat for that, right? Um. Well. <laughs> still death. Still causes ripples. What is this? What is it really? You get rid of the ghosts. Come on, dog. 
I'll, you know what? I'll just I'll give you one extra heat for the bodies. How about that? We're making yeah. waves. And then the one extra heat for my hammer. Oh yeah, so two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then minus two for the cover up. Yeah. Hey, and then okay, so two heat for fight. I would call this loud and chaotic high exposure. Hmm, sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay. So. Um. So. Exposed many times. So, so it's just four heat in total. Alright. After this. As for coin, um. I would say, honestly, if you looted the bodies, you could have gotten about a total of four coin. Four coin? All right. Oh, good. So you got some you get some money out of it. Throw that you can fill up our coin batch. for the gang. So yeah. And uh, you get two rep. Two rep. Yeah. We did it, <clears throat> Mario, in real life. We did it, Mario. It's just great. Yeah, all right. Super Mario. Time to <laughs> entangle her. Now let's see how entangled you get. Entangle me. What's your, uh... Hope it's nothing bad. Our You're at... Five heat. Five heat. Five heat, eh? Five heat, eh? Five heat, eh? Worried. Five That's the second pop one. Yo, Oh, is that so? Oh, it's the uh, blue coats throwing us a party because of uh, how much they like us now. Get well party for explosion. Uh. We'll kill them all. <laughs> Okay. This is cruel. What? Mm -hmm. This is objectively cruel. Oh boy, cool I can't. Or cruel. Go. Cruel. Must it oh. be like this? Well, I, I it's won. the number I rolled. I was one day from retirement. That's completely untrue. But, um, you hear something as you're recuperating back at your uh, yield rug tumbler in that early morning. Just tumbling our rugs. Uh, yeah. The sashes are heated about everything that's happened over the last time. They've been embarrassed twice by you guys. A lower tier gang, and they are Sorry. enraged. We're just little sneakers, dude. Uh, little sneaksters. That's all we are. And what you hear is that they've made a play against Goods Fishery. God damn it. Uh, I knew it. God damn it. God fucking uh, You have a choice to make. As if uh, you're dying. The choice uh, is. Yeah. You can either surrender the hold, surrender the claim to the sashes, or you can defy them and go to war. We need that. Cover. Can we make a decision when Arpel is here? No. <laughs> much of other you can you can message Arpel <laughs> if you think someone, he'll respond. Some, someone try and contact him. He's gone. He hasn't. He hasn't. Because, because if you guys go to war, it's got to play take an effect into the downtime that we do. Oh yeah, we lose one downtime. Yep. This is true. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I rolled. A, I rolled a six, and six is show of force. I. How do we get tur Is is turf jobs? How do we get turf again? I forget. Uh, you get turf through scores. Okay. So we. we like, the charnel channel is turf that yeah. you scooped up and you now control. Alright, I text Arpold, I'm asking him. Alright. We give up that sweet can we, minus two heat. Oh, can we try to go to the Lamp Wax and ask him, Hey, if we go to war with the Red Sashes, are you going to back us up? That's something... That's something... This is... 
Entanglements are something that you don't have. You have time. You have to like react to right away. You don't have time to. Oh, damn it. Okay. That's that's kind of the point of entanglements. It's just something that happens. Yeah, they're like going up to Goods Fisher and be like, "Well, nice place. This is ours now." More or less. Or else. My vote is to go to war. Just I war, so. I also say go to war. Why did this have to happen right now? <sighs> Although HK doesn't want to go to war, Mondo would want to go to war. <laughs> We're not gonna let them take our fucking fishery. I'll hey. kill them all. Fuck the red sashes. Kill, kill them the all. Sashes. We built this shit up from nothing in like five weeks. Hey, <laughs> fuck them up, James. Uh, I'm not <laughs> that fishery. If we get that fishery up, that's another month, God knows how long, before I fucking retire. I'm retiring. <laughs> I'm getting off these streets. So, all right, go again, I get you. I'm angry. <laughs> oh, you're too loud. Oh, yeah, you're dying, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this will home. change our priorities in a way that is unexpected, so I say yes, let's go to war. <laughs> It'll make things interesting. True stress away from trauma. Level three harm. Let's go to war. Seems like we have five <laughs> votes for war. War. Yeah. War. War. Even if Harpool have... doesn't want to go to war, I think he may be outbid. If he, if he had a good reason, but uh, so look, looking at it from an objective way. We could get a new a new turf pretty easy. Not, yeah, not the easiest, I, but yeah, but we have to make a stand. All right, right? Have, how does the war? But, yeah, but do I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up another fucking downtime. If, if we are my brave, downtime. If we're brave or daring, we we're rolling over to the red sashes. That's not brave or daring. Right. That's pathetic. That's cowardly. When yeah. I was a young and on the streets, I always said to myself, if I had been thinned up in a gang war with the Red Sashes, I'll fuck them up. <laughs> it's very <laughs> specific. So do we have to wipe them off the map to end the war? or like To end the war, you have to either eliminate your enemy or negotiate a mutual agreement. God. Now my feeling Which is... will probably, if we go to the the table, they'll probably like, well, we want your turf and also now coin. <laughs> He's yeah, like, we own you now, bitch. Either way, we're losing. You know, I think avoiding like war when we're at out of them and level then... when we're we're at a weak hold in tier one might be a good idea. Wait, but my fishery. How is that daring, Mondo? Fire. What happened to your daringness, huh? What happened to being a criminal on the streets, hard boiled, huh? Poker boy. There, mm, there will be other time for blood. You're not Let's pick our battles. You gotta be hard. Time to joke it, baby. Man. Explosion, I could walk over there and breathe on you and you would die. And I'm hard still. Look. <laughs> oh yeah, you're so hardcore. Take this. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Oh. Interparty <laughs> conflict. Explosion's <laughs> dead. <laughs> R.I.P. Level one harm. Chad lips. <laughs> okay, but really, I don't, I don't. The thing is, even if we give it to them, we're gonna go to war with them eventually. Like, I feel like it's really soon, too. Eventually, but we can get... Are we sure we're not going to go to war with them anyways? That's what I'm saying. Like, very soon, I feel like we're going to go to war with them. Or even from this incident. (laughs) We're gonna be at war on two fronts in a second, aren't we? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we have quite a. We kind of have some people upset. Like the brigade is also upset with us. Well, that's because we made them angry. I think our first uh, motion might be to get the granders to help us in the war. Or the lamp blacks. I'm not sure if the granders really care. 
Eh, they like us. They've got a two on this sheet I found in the back room. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <sighs> so I... Well... If we give them the thing, that's permanent gone. If we go to war with them... I mean, we still lose a thing, but like... We keep the turf, we just lose downtime. And I then think... they're also going to be actively attacking. I think when you're at war, we also, like... We lose one temporarily, is the thing. You, you lose... T you temporarily lose a bit of hold, which means you guys would technically be oh. tier zero during the war. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's why I that's, think you should wait a bit. That's even more. Yeah, like this is a very ass uh, scream situation. Also, you get yeah. plus one heat from score. Heat score. Yeah. Mm. Wow, the way I would rationalize that is basically, uh, at least in terms of the gang members that have been picked up to the, the killing jokes. They're too busy fighting in the streets to really help you with things. That or the other gang members, or the other gang is like purposely trying to rat us out or leave trails. No, I meant for, uh, for the, the, because the tier would technically make your gang oh, smaller. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And they're, <sighs> the killing jokes are occupied. Yeah. I suppose you make a good point, Mondo. Hmm. Well, <laughs> it's... So, if we go back... So we gotta go... Wait, what happens if we give him that claim? We Do lose we... the fishery, we lose that cover-up. We're in trouble we... now. <laughs> Do we... We don't... Do we drop down, though? Does that... You don't, don't drop. You don't drop down. If you if you give them the thing, you just lose that. We lose the cover out. That's it. <sighs> well, it's I not going really much pain. Point. In terms of in terms of like strategy, it's not a huge pain, but like morale wise, it's a pain. I think, yeah, I think I've calmed down a bit. I think that was that was paparazzi's baby though. That deal. If we give up the cover that off, sucks. We did so. We that we did the flaw. Wait, wait. That was your flaw. That was your that was your flawless victory. That was your perfect. That was a pretty, a pretty good one. But we could do some work if you give up the, the cover up. Get All the right, ground is really on our side, and when the war starts in earnest, we'll have an upper hand. True. Pay for it. If we kick their ass enough, maybe we can be the ones to claim it back. Yeah, we'll take it back. Oh, we're taking that back. We're not giving up the fucking. The fishery. We're not giving up those cod, I mean those eels, full of crack cocaine. Crack cocaine. Crack cocaine. I love, I mean, I don't partake in crack cocaine, but I love selling crack cocaine. I understand. I think you need to understand this. Your I love selling crack cocaine. I mean, that. yeah, I like to smuggle it too, it's fun. That's what yeah. we do here. You smuggle drugs and corpses. So what'll it be? War now? War later? It'll have to be war later, I think. Because I really don't want to go down to fucking tier. It, it goes there. back up if you win the war. It yeah, doesn't, but... It doesn't permanently stay down, it's just temporarily reduced. What if we lose the war? If you lose the war, your characters are probably dead. <laughs> Damn. You win the war or you lose the game, more or less. Where, where does it describe war? I think if we go down a tier, we, we don't It's in have... the faction uh, page. Faction game. I don't remember what page it is, but I was just looking at it a minute ago. And we... Forty-six. Oh, God. Oh, I see, yeah. Lose one hold, one downtime, plus one heat from score. Hmm. 
So if we go, but so if we go down a hole, then we go down a tier, which means we don't have our boys. Yeah. So the only and the thing is, if we go to war with them anyways, that that's gonna happen. Even like like we would have to gain a hold so that we keep our boys with us in the war. Yeah, we'd have to build up our strength. We like, we could bide our time. Like we can't even like just retaliate when we're when we're like all nice and healed up. Yeah. Still if, have if to. Lose the, if we, I mean, even if we gave them, if we gave them up the turf and then immediately tried to take back, we're going to war. I mean, this. I mean, we were thinking of like talking to the grinders to help us, but like, even then, not having our boys with us. We'll see. Yeah, if we, it doesn't cost money to go up a a um, level of hold. Not, like, we're not increasing tier, so it'd just be like get, getting the rep up to get the strong. I think yeah, it's the rep. I believe with the. So we would need to pay to get to strong, so that makes it a bit easier. We could theoretically jump up to strong after a few more jobs. Getting I think I think grinders. it it's smarter. It's smarter. Actually, even yeah, I think we're gonna have to give up the clink because if we're if we're a tier zero fighting a tier two, the bad it's not time. good. Yeah, it affect that would affect the roles for our, you know, our crew stuff. We're gonna be our, horribly our disadvantaged. Yeah. No. I feel like if we turn our backs on this chance now, it, the next time this happens, we'll be in a worse spot. What do you mean? Like, um, if what we you... say, nah, you can take our shit, we'll have to work to get back to where we were, and then by that time, the other gangs will be even tougher. They may, but we can also then actually solidify an alliance or like a defensive pact. Like, hey, Lampwax, if we get jumped, can you back us or the grinders? Like, if we get jumped, uh, you'll help us. If you get jumped, we'll help you. If we go to war, it's not something like where our scores all have to be with countering them, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be. It just means that you okay. might encounter more trouble from them, and they're probably going to... Like, you're, you're constantly on guard from them so you can do less stuff in downtime. You pro Red Sash problems probably are going to crop up a lot more. And we're probably going to have defensive sort of scores. You might have you might have them hitting more turf or more claims. Yeah. Did we hear from Arpel? No. He's not going to be there, I think. Um, yeah. This it just makes be... much more sense to give up the claim, I think. So you can give up the claim. We start focusing on increasing up with the grinders. We can take out a turf to make it easier to rip up for the next to get the strong so our war hold is easier. Uh, True. We just focus all efforts after this on preparing for war. Okay. Which is really just done by leveling up. Yeah, but you know. Is there anybody else we could help we could try to get on our side? We only have one two, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. And we have two ones. Although Ulf, I don't think it's really our go to guy. Yeah. What's the Red Sashes relations? Who do they hate? Um Sashes? They hate the Lamp Blacks. They hate the Lamp Blacks. Uh, okay, good. They well, also probably hate the Frog Hounds. The, la the Red I... Sashes do not like the Lamp Blacks or the Blue Coats. Uh, their their main beef is with the lamp blacks. Okay, we can the lamp the lamp blacks to two. They'll help us when it's convenient for them. Which getting rid of yeah. the enemy is definitely convenient. So we can get the grinders and the lamp blacks. I think yes. that's a good way to go. I mean, we tried improving relations last time, and all we did was scores for them. They're like, cool, thanks, bye. No, yeah, it'll take a while, but it's not a thing that like. Yeah, it's not, it's not it's well. You were you already had a little bit of an in with the grinders because you have a contact who's comfortable with the organization and you paid them some money for your turf, so you ranked up a little bit faster with them. The uh, the lamp blacks don't know you as well; they're just sort of feeling you out. So we're just like, please, please, God, these friends, <laughs> please. All right, we're gonna have to finale here. What what is? I say give up the claim for now. We're we're small fish. Uh, yeah, we're not real big fish yet. For now. Yeah. 
Wait, for now. Real big fish. I like the, the, the funny little hungry fish video game, okay? With small fish, but soon. Big fish. Yeah. Soon we'll be big the, small fish. The sashes don't know that they're stepping into an insane aquarium. <laughs> to... Yeah. <laughs> They won't know what hit them once we get those killing jokes together and they have to contend with an insane clown posse. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll show them who the real big fish is in this aquarium. The new the new lieutenant of the killing jokes, Shaggy Two Rope. And he's just holding two ropes and he whips people with them. <laughs> Once we've, we've got, got the grander and the lamp blacks on our side, see if the sashes can juggle or all, all these fronts. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Let's do the. Yeah. Let's just give up the claim. Get me out of here. Okay. Well, let, let's take the actual vote. Boy, let's take the actual vote. The all next right. time you guys meet with the red sashes, you might be met with violent J. <laughs> what? That's right, Violent, Violent J. Oh. All right. Um. So, who vote <laughs> what? Nick, what do you vote? War or peace? Um, I say war. No I, war is my vote. I gotta go to the bathroom. Be right back. Oh, okay. uh, PD. Yeah. One I, for I say war. One war. One no war. Explosion. Let's see. I'll, let's do this. What? War, and then we'll do this with reactions. Ooh. Upvote for war. Downvote for no war. Peace, bro. You can't vote for both. Yeah, you're right. You're. Oh, oh shit. There we go. I'm yeah, voting for works. no war. He voted oh, for no wait, war wait. as well. Here's the upvote. Here's the upvote, Nick. Oh yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid oh, of that upvote. It should be the sword. It should be the knife. Oh yes. Deb. I think HK yeah. voted no war, so that would be did, yeah. that would be four one. Yeah, even if Arpel said yeah, go to war, um, it wouldn't matter. Even if Arpel said yeah, yep. Yeah, we got nice numbers in here. We can do votes. Seems like the vote is no war. Man, this really oh, kind of uh, the killing jokes. For now. Yeah. Once they we have get been to helpful, stronghold... haven't they? Like our boys. Yes. Yes. But once we get to a stronghold, then we can just even even if we're not friendly enough, we can probably hire some mercs. I mean, you can also use acquire asset as a downtime yeah, ability I mean. to even hire more guys. So yeah. theoretically, you could go to war and then use a downtime ability to hire back. To hire people to replace the guys who are occupied by the war. But also all of our equipment goes down in quality. I don't think we can afford to fight a tier two with the tiers. Yeah, out. it might be uh might be tough. Okay. Unless so, we just don't fight. On the morning following your disposal of the bodies. Rodrigo Good has a Rodrigo bad day at work. <laughs> As a number of individuals associated with the Red Sashes enter his fishery, it is unknown exactly what transpires inside, other than the fact that a couple of seemingly inconspicuous sailors aboard the fishery went home that day with broken legs. And all ties with the skeleton crew, were cut off. Red Sashes suddenly becoming regulars at Boris's bar, the Scarlet Letter, appearing more frequently around Good's Fishery. Oh, that's... Yeah, this is gonna be awkward. Having seized the operation for themselves. And you get... Uh... A card slipped under the door. Um. <laughs> In your, uh. 
uh, uh, your back room with the poker table. And when you are re when you read it, you can see it says, "Better luck next time." Love, my Lara Clev, and the red sashes. What's that? And there is, a, there is a, there is a, Rodrigo's pinky finger is taped inside the card. I start swinging my hammer. <laughs> Just enraged. Bloodbeard doesn't say anything. Fuckers. Hold on, let me let me get the let me get the clip. God. <laughs> I take the finger off of the note and I put it down on the table, and then I look into the distance and I crush the card in my hand. Have a good day. All right. Let's do downtime. <laughs> I'll I played us like a damn. Give it back. That was ours. We built it. Built right. it I'm going to make them give back our past. <laughs> I can still feel note. it. My leg. My arm. <laughs> me wooden <laughs> arm. Finger. Even Rodrigo's <laughs> finger. <laughs> they took me fiddle arm. I toss the note and I just say, I'll be right back in a few days. I go to do some drugs. <laughs> I, also do some drugs. I, I need to decompress. <laughs> yes, I need to decompress forever. Oh! <laughs> you are really stressed out. I think you need to decompress. You do a bunch of drugs, oh, and it's just God. you're you're so stressed out that it's barely working. You're just sort of lying there. Taking your taking your super opium, and it's just like I don't feel any better. <laughs> I feel nothing. I made a promise though, and I've got to fulfill it. I use my other act, downtime action to train. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, That's no. Not gonna go well. uh, I visit oh. Quellen and do some oh. ghostery. Quellen is very happy to see you. It does some ghostry yeah. with you. How's it doing? I need you to blast my fucking face with some spirit energy. You need Thanks. me to blast your fucking face with some spirit? I mean, whatever you say. <laughs> oh, that was enough. I leveled up. Great. Now I have warded. <laughs> you look pretty stressed out. Are you all right, Gwen? Oh, it's it's nothing. Just humiliated, beaten half to death twice in one week. Oh. That never but happens now, to me working for the Dimmer Sisters, I'll tell you. You should you I should am, come work with us. I'm afraid I have no interest in the sisters. Uh, well, you said that before, but uh, I don't know. The benefits are pretty good. Dental. <laughs> Look at how good my teeth are. You still got teeth? Uh, those are fantastic oh teeth. God. But once we get out of this and we win the war, there's going to be a war, I didn't tell you that. Oh, hell. I won't need teeth where I'm going. I think you might uh, need teeth, Gwen. I'll have people to chew for me when I get the corn <laughs> I'm after. It's fucking well, gross. If that happens for you, I hope it happens, because uh, I'll, I'll be there cheering you on in the background quite a distance from the fighting. Yeah. Well, um, speaking of distance from the fighting... I think I'm gonna go pretend that I'm smoking opium. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> oh. It's not the same. What's everybody else up to? I need to see a doc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I were hurt. You're, you've been a whole. You, you, <laughs> explosion is like. Like fucking milk white, and has been holding onto her wrist for days. But need I help. I never got to fix my big thigh either. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Big thigh no. is just too big. It's too big. 
Okay. Add three ticks to your clock. Yeah, baby. Which, uh... I did it. Up. You healed? Bruise is gone, Bruise baby. is gone. Now you've now got... Now it's just thigh. Now it's just <laughs> thigh. Slightly large thigh. And, 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 level, and level two, uh... <laughs> I swear I didn't do that. <laughs> I only need like mm. explosion. Do you need do you need mental help? Is everything all right at home? Just just do just do a level two. I don't know evanescence. <laughs> <laughs> you know level what? Two, is everything all right at home? That sounds good to me, baby. <laughs> hey there, champ. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I haven't seen one of these in years. I'll be fine. I was just thinking about my immortal again. <laughs> my immortal. <laughs> um, as soon as I'm done with that, I immediately go see Donatella. <laughs> you need to, you, you just burst open the door. She's like, just, she's having a nice afternoon. She's sipping some tea. Poof, door opens up. <laughs> I'm having an angsty moment. Ah, she's running to her paintbrushes. Ah! Let me see it. <laughs> oh, that's very good. It's quite good. You feel a lot better after seeing it. You did great, thanks. You know, she uses some of your she uses some of your um your suggestions and she draws an explosion with a bunch of like scorched red sashes flying through the air. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? <laughs> This is exactly what you beautiful you My husband <laughs> left me because of this. When she runs out the door. I had a family. <laughs> they were nice people. <laughs> Tata Tella, you have to stand up against that crazy woman who keeps bursting in her. Well, why don't you, Steven? <laughs> <laughs> I have to protect the child, Donatella! You're such a weak woman! We're leaving! I didn't realize I, when I, I, if I wanted to marry a doormat, I'd fuck a rug! Let's get out of here! <laughs> hey, well, if you want to tumble with a rug, we got the place for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That was good usage of my downtime. Well, I've officially filled half of my abilities for my playbook. I'm one step closer to getting that super good healing ability. Um, what else are you, uh, what, who, uh, who, uh, downtimes? Yeah, what about blood beer? Oh, yeah, what about blood beer? Oh, my what turn. What about blood beard? Um, I'm gonna go... Our... Did we get gold from this coin? Um, because the arm isn't being made by you, you actually technically have no, <laughs> um, you technically have no part in its construction at the moment. Yes, but I'm um, going to go pay him. You know, give um, him a little bit of I, research I would, money. I would say that, uh, that continues independently of you. I'll just roll for him like I roll for other factions clock stuff, but you can pay him to try to motivate him. Yes, I will go do that. How much coin did we get from this? Four, um, four coin two. total, and I think it all went into the the part the cruise vault. Yeah. yeah. Are we doing downtime now? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Then I guess um, how do I train shit? Um, you just spend a downtime to train. You can train anything, but if you train prowess or personal, you get two instead of one. At least I think you can train anything, right? Um, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, well, uh, how, okay, so I guess I gotta do the, uh, fucking experience first before I train anything, right? No, uh, we do experience at the end of the session, so... Yeah. Not really. But you can, like, calculate, like, think about, like, well, I'm gonna get two experience for prowess, so... Okay, um... If you, if you train prowess, you'll probably level it up this time. And what does that do for me again? You get to put, you get another, to put another dot. But you can't go higher than three. Yeah, at the moment. Yeah. 
Okay. What upgrade is that? Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, uh, it's something, you know. Yeah. yeah, I guess I'll just try and prowess one. Mm. Okay. Fucking, to prepare for war, Bloodbeard spends all day at the gym punching the punching bag with he one good arm. He make yeah. a big arm. Doing, doing one-armed pull-ups. One-armed push-ups. <laughs> people people look at Bloodbeard and they don't say anything because they're thinking thinking that he's doing something sinful. But he knows. He's, they, he knows he's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, Bloodbeard okay. is Trench. not a coomer. All right. So you can, do, uh, you can do two little ticks on your prowess ribbons. Okay. I'd um, like to do another one. What? I would like to train again. Can you I can't train prowess again. Oh. You can only train uh, each individual thing once. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you, you can train multiple things for downtime, but you can only train insight. like prowess once, no. insight yeah. once, resolve once. You can uh, do the playbook, though. Playbook EXP once. Oh, yeah, I'll do the playbook thing. Okay. <laughs> and you... After, after fucking doing push-ups and pull-ups all week, you go and you fucking get into a bunch of bar fights and drink and, like, ride the fucking boat around to really express yourself as a pirate. <laughs> and, uh, advance your Advance your playbook a little bit. So, so I think I you get... Work. You guys have, you guys have uh, expertise or whatever for your crew, so you get two ticks on the playbook as well. Damn, all right, cool. Do? I actually might level this up tonight, too. Okay, so I should have another tick in my... Playbook XP then. Wait, we did Wi Fi. Oh, he was just he was training playbook. I trained right. playbook XP last week, but I only put one tick into it. Yeah, you guys uh, have uh do, 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 whatever the it's tr your it's personal proud. personal training as one of your crew upgrades, so Hell yeah. For um special armor, does that not weigh anything? Is that the point of the upgrade? Yeah, yeah, special, yeah, special armor doesn't weigh anything. Whatever your special, okay. like whatever you do, it's also not even like it, literally armor. Yeah, it's not literally a thing. It's just a thing that you can expend to resist a consequence, more or less. Yeah, like, I so, can expend special armor or something else. I'm gonna. I just gotta be. Uh, Nick, how does the the dash mechanic work for coin transferring? Uh, it's it's two to one. Okay. Two stash, Is one that... coin. Deposit as well. How do you deposit this? You deposit. It's 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 one. Co it's it's kind of like you have to liquidate assets basically. So you it, it you get less literal money back, but it's it's one to one putting it in. Okay, so if we put our coin into our stash, it'd be one to one. But if you take out, it's two. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was like I have to sort of go both ways. Like nah. Okay. I'm gonna. And we can go. We can build our stash as long as we want, right? We don't. Ooh, nice. Goddamn. Ooh. Mondo clears a bunch of stress. Feeling better after smoking some of that good ghost I, goo. I got. I got some good goo. <laughs> you got some of that good goo. I got. I got some revenge of the grape ape. Yeah, <laughs> Brill hooked you up. He could see how hollow your eye sockets looked after the last mission. He hooked you up with good shit. Where's the downtime page again? I keep fucking. Ugh. It's a. Uh... I don't know where page is. Oh, here it is. One fifty-three. There. There we go. Right. So I know there's other things you can do. Was that both your downtimes, Mondo? Uh, no, I'm still deciding what to do. Right. If I want to do one more or two more. I wonder what, uh... <laughs> Spend a coin. I wonder what, uh... Fucking paparazzi is gonna say when he gets back from being swamped at work. Tee hee. Uh... Like, got all these... Got all this accounting work to do. <laughs> I'm gonna train prowess and then liquidate a coin or two stacks and get a coin. Downtime. All right. To uh, I'll put a point into insight. 
Okay. Well, yeah, that's yeah, my downtime. Solve up. He's, he does. Uh, does some some brain games. <laughs> Start playing brain age. <laughs> he finds out what his brain age is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Takes an IQ test. It's like it's bullshit. Why are most of these questions about math? More one kind of intelligence. Yeah, fuck math. Um, Oakley Dockley. Can we use a downtime to get rep? I don't think so. Oh, I don't um, see one that does that. Neither do I, but don't like asking me. Yeah, I don't see anything that says any shit like that. Do we just want to leave the rep the heat out how, how it is? I don't know. Do you? I mean, mm -hmm. I literally could not. Oh, really? <clears throat> how many coin you got right now, bud? I yes. have two coin. Well, well you could spend a coin to have <laughs> a roll. <laughs> All right, never mind then. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm going to fucking. Wait, can we? Oh. Can we? Can we? Can we Doctor use... Doctor Kilwatt, more like Doctor. Cunt of what? Yeah. <laughs> like Dr. Killjoy. <laughs> <laughs> More like Dr. Kill a White. No White. <laughs> no White. Um, but you know what? We could do. Can we give Mondo a coin to. Wait, no, he already spent a coin for Dungeon. Yeah. Um. You can do that multiple times. Way? Yeah, I mean, you can, you can spend as much coin as you fucking want if you want to keep doing shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, well then, can we give Mondo one of the crew coins to reduce our heat? You could also go. spend rep on it, but I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah that, I don't... I'd say give up a coin, because Cause... rep, we need to get that hold up. Yeah. yeah. So, so, coin comes we'll mark coin And withdraw away. one of the crew coins so that Mondo can go reduce our heat levels. Hmm. Alright, I subtracted one coin. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna... Roll sway to try and uh, spread the good word that the red sashes were the ones who attacked us. Mm. We're innocent. An un un unprovoked assault. Absolute yeah. bad oh, boys. These are their menaces. Let's take a gander. Mm. Well, not great. Yeah. Uh, so you reduce one heat. There's a there's been so much conflict with the red sashes that people are stopping are are starting to disbelieve that it's all on them. Damn, but it's the truth. Bad. All right, take yes, but off. they don't believe it. <laughs> Although you did hit me. first, <laughs> they deserved it. Did they? Take, take yes, because we're the main characters. <laughs> <laughs> we have no empathy. <laughs> True. <laughs> Think I'm gonna fucking like talk to an NPC? You're going crazy. To the one heat. You removed the heat. It is okay. gone. All right. Um. <sighs> I. I will spend. Hey, look at that. Oh yeah. Wait, that's not right. We should have two die. One you die. have one die. For entanglements because you you're tier one. Check. Yeah, it doesn't check the tier when it rolls that, I guess. Hmm. Um. Hey, that means that I think everyone's gone. I have. Oh. Be Hurry it up! I don't know what I want to do. Absolute guy. Yeah. I know. This man could have fucking reduced the heat. Said we had to use a coin. I don't. I don't have. I don't have sway. I it doesn't have to be sway. It can be literally yeah. like. Oh. It's just what? anything you can think hmm. of to do anything. What does it say? I... What is under Rico Shakedown's name? Sparkright person of color. No, person of contact. <laughs> Why'd you say POC? Oh. 
That's the I, that's that's literally the acronym that most of my work uses. Like, I'll get you a POC, like person. That that's definitely a military term. Yeah, I, that's oh, not okay. that's uh, P, POC is like point of contact. Of Sorry, point of contact. Yeah, that's that's yeah. person of color to everybody yeah. else in the world. I. Uh, well, <laughs> hey, well, what, first result. What, what, Hey, where's that person POC, of color? Point of contact. Don't you fucking change that to say lay mystery spirit board. <laughs> <sighs> oh, yeah. Can you spell the name of the, the lady that left us the card? Huh? The, oh, uh, the yeah, I will. We have to mark that so we killed him. You've heard of her. You've heard of my Lara Clev. She is the leader of the Red Sashes. Oh, she's a leader? Yeah. Seems like she was annoyed enough to send you a personal fuck you. She's, um... She She's well known for... How should I put this? Her her sword fighting is good enough that not only has nobody ever beaten her, but most people consider it to be a suicidal attempt to try to fight her <laughs> in a sword fight. That sounds like something we'll do. Oh, yeah. And by that, I mean, we'll pretend to have a sword fight and then we'll, you know, cheat and blow her up or something. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As as fucking as Bloodbeard is lying dying after being completely owned by Mylara Clev in a sword fight, he says, <coughs> "Flashback, I'm wearing a suicide vest." Yeah. <laughs> no, you say flashback. I put bombs in me arm. <laughs> <laughs> me arm. <laughs> he just pulls off he arm and just hums it out of her head. My real arm. And, she, and oh, she's like, okay. and she's like, what is? We invite her to a nice dinner to smooth things over. Flashback. Someone put a bomb in the lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are you doing with your last downtime, you motherfucker? I, I, I can't do a wreck to do it unless I get another feature, I think, which would be this. So, I am going to train my playbook. Okay. Which will fill it up and make me have one extra. God bless. And with the conclusion of the downtime activities, I believe that do it for us at the moment. Do it, do it. Time to do crew XP. We're going to do XP, XP now. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Blades in the Dark. Things are getting heated. Around yeah. these parts, as war with the Red Sashes looms, and they have directly called you out and injured a good man Bastards. named Good. <laughs> what yeah. will happen as the skeleton crew continues their forays into the underworld of Duskwall? We die. Tune in next time. Same skill time, same skill channel. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, See you later.